tenor of Jack does it. If not, oh, 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 wow. That is the pain of this game. Look how tilted going. Wow. He was so oh, close really? to winning that fight. Yeah. Look at Eli, he's oh, ecstatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Josh, one time, baby. One time. No, you won, dude. All those bracelets and necklaces and hats and rings and glasses. Holy shit. Let's look at Jeremy's face. I can tell you right now. So sick. Like, there it is. Gutsy, gutsy riverbed by Nick. Yeah, and that's just one of those spots where whoever goes for it wins. Probably gonna see an all in here from Josh. Snap call from Nick. He might win them both, buddy. He wins on both. Oh, wow, Nick runs awful. I had a feeling here. Oh, no. Yeah, I had a feeling you were gonna win them both. Wow. You know when you know? Just count it up. Whatever you bet, I was calling. I knew you were gonna fucking fire, bro. I was like, please, I'm gonna call this motherfucker no matter what. <laughs> This motherfucker owed me $17,456.33. I was calling all of them, bruh. He was the original Razor. Johnny 3-bet, he 4-bet, Johnny 5-bet all in. It is $19,990. Okay, nice hand. Great laydown. That's a tough laydown, but a really good laydown by Nick Bertucci. You're not getting aces to fold, obviously. Clean? What is the flop, though? Yeah, I win. Queen was on the flop? You had queen? Yeah, I queen. I don't want to fight more, though. Why can't I just flop? Man, he's going to pay him off. You're going to slow roll me, you motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew it, too. You're going to slow roll me, you motherfucker. <sighs> so there will be a big side pot, by the way. So Brian is going to win the main pot, which is 18,000. Ludacris is actually going to win about 2,500. Mayhem has gone to felt. And there's a four, and there's two diamonds. 26,900 in there. Double M with the over pair. Garrett with a pair and a plus draw. Chris is all in. The pot is $110,000. That's not the player I thought would go all in, but he did it nonetheless. You got it. And the four is good. Oh, it's the king of clubs. Ludacris and Josh hit their king on the river, but it's no good. And Jeremy is going to win it all. There's the call. Let's go. I really wish Ludacris had showed the six first. I wish, I wish he showed him the six first. I wanted to see Jeremy's reaction so bad. So here's my first question for you, okay? My first question is, was that the biggest pot you ever played tonight when you won aces against jacks? No, no, I you know how it works. Yeah, now you do. It, it, it was. That'll give him a boat on the river. What does Chris do here? I mean, do you three bet this turn? Do you fold? Everyone has seen how cautiously Danny has played all night. Yeah, he just called the 10s full. Wow, Chris is going to call. He's out of position. And now, what is he doing to Britt River? Are there certain cards that's going to bluff here? I give up. Oh, no. <laughs> I play the board? Oh, no, I have a 7. 7 high? Yeah. It would have been nice if Luda could slow roll there. Good flop for Krish. 145k in the middle. Good turn. Excellent river fight. Yeah. <laughs> now Ronnie goes to. If an ace comes, Christmas is best. Oh my god. It's back. He should have gone once. Oh my god. Wow. I made a 69 because it's my favorite number. <laughs> what a hand here. A nut flush draw for Bearju. A set for Mike Via and top pair with an open ender for Barry, who's the big winner tonight. Wow, and Mike Mia just awards Barry even more money than he already had. He was already crushing, and Mike just, for some 
Reason decides to pull the set, and Barry is going to take down another big pot. And this is going to get ugly, folks. Suited is running into it pretty bad here tonight. He hit his hand. He's crushed by Ace King. And the only thing Suited could do here is hope for a queen on the river. Oh my God. And there it is. It's the dirty, murky river. I've been in this position a bunch of times. This is so gross. Okay, they're gonna get it all in. They're going twice. Yeah, one of your sevens is dead, unfortunately. That's that's gonna sting. But stranger things have happened. There it is! Wow! The K7. 2750. I could never fold for 2750. Make it 2800. He gave him fifty dollars to make the bet. Twenty-eight hundred. Oh, and that is a disastrous card. A third jack. So Viffer now has a boat, but a worse boat. So many poker players would bet here. Can Viffer figure out that he should just check? He's definitely well aware. And he does check. Great check by Viff. Oh. Great check by Viff. He, and you know what? He's right. If he wow. bets there, he's not getting called by worse. I should have folded a little raise on the floor. <laughs> I gave him 1600 more. Did you tell him what you had? He hit the first one. He's going to be sick. Oh, my gosh. Scooper. Scooper for the bear juice. That's a sick beat for Jeremy flopping the stones. Man, who gets so look, man? So gross, honestly. Look at this, look at this swap. Both times? Damn it. I'm already gonna get it. I'm already. Yeah, I am kind of tilted no, from that pop. There's a spade on both. Backdoor flush in the river. Andy gets paid $35,000 pot as Andy gets lucky with the backdoor flush. Fish makes it straight, Gall makes his flush. Problem for them is they were drawing dead. It's no fun to be drawing dead and get there. Double M raised it to 30. Chris called, made a straight. And Double M wins a nice one here. Finally, something goes his way. Put the chips in. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's my boy. Toss him. Donkey oh. toss. Yes. Oh. You were so close, Billy. You're, you're dead to me, Ludacris. <laughs> and I'm guessing he's going to call. Josh had Jack 10. King 10. Ace Jack. OK, I didn't think he had that. I didn't think he was that weak. Ten or a jack does it. If not, oh, oh, oh! Wow! Look at these two hands. Yeah, Dylan's gonna drop the hammer. Chris, don't ship it. Oh no! Dylan wins a nice one. And a half the hand I can beat. It's all going in. Yeah. He is going to get healthy. <clears throat> That's a misstep. <laughs> Instant bailout. Two pairs. I thought you just were too close, so you didn't realize it. That's what I thought. I thought I didn't. I got every hand. Every hand. Okay. 
Every fucking hand. Cut sucker. I believe this red is out of love. I think so. And Chris Paul's with Ace High. If I'm seeing that correctly, 12,000 and a call. Seven, how about just ripping while they would have both turned hearts? Oh, oh my God. But he's going to make the call. One, wow. The king nine. And he hits the nine, but it doesn't matter. Call. Oh. I got a 10. And miss. Oh, Patrick thought he had him. That look on his face. That good call from Mike. That's fair. Uh, I don't have aces. Oh, okay, I call. And he calls. He calls. One hundred and twenty-three thousand. Here we go. Oh, ace in the door. He's going to need to catch backdoor clubs. He needs to catch a jack. Oh, $123,150 pot. Going to let it go. Krish, and he shows it. Nine high. No, no, no. He calls. I have a straight. Uh, well, Nick is going to win a $44,000 pot. Holy shit, I had the exact same hand. Look at that. I had the exact Look same Look at Patrick's hand. reaction. It's such a good fold. This is about as long as I've ever really seen Andy Tank. He's usually a really fast player. And he's going to let it go. And he is correct. I swear in my head. I swear in my head. The only fucking hand. The only hand I beat. Just under 15,000. There's the call. And Andy's going to get some back. How about 28,000 back? I have an ace. I know. I know, I know. I know, but I fucking do. I slap it. I don't do no shit. That's bad, man. Sorry, bud. That's sick. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Hi, call. Good call, Kim. Take a deep breath. Nice hand. And now, Mickey is betting the river, and he's betting 13,000. Oh, he folds. Had the calling chips in his hand. Nah, put that in your poker movie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Diamond on the river. I don't have a straight. And Eldar is going to scoop this pot. A $21,000 pot. Eldar, it's a runner. I will fucking run her. Bitch is mine! Give me that shit. Give me that shit already. Give me that shit But he could press it. He said all in? He's going all in. He went, I'm telling you. There it is. He's not going to love it. It's a $137,000 pot. This is for sure one of the biggest pots Chris has ever played. I know this kid. This kid now has chips, like playing chips. So from the start, golf they're not locked up. No. This man could lose those chips respectfully in the right spots. I'm not saying he's a donkey, even though he is. So if you guys are fans of Andy, let's see you smash that like button for Andy. Send him good vibes on his vacation. He will be back in a couple months, but it will be a long couple months without him. So let's smash the like button for Andy. I don't think Mark's gonna fold. Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. No, he's not. He's not dead. Well, now he's dead. He did get run around at 5'5. Yeah, yeah. I think he's gonna say all in. All in. All in. All in and a call. Ronnie just called initially. 
set the trap. How dare am I? He needs a queen that's not a heart. He doesn't get it. He lets it go and, and, and give Gall the credit. And it seemed like Gall was just hemorrhaging since he folded that jack nine hand, but he gets it all back in that one. And he's told them what he has. The, the table knows he only has a eye. And he calls. Oh my gosh, he calls. Oh, wow. And Luda doubles up Ronnie. Dur got yorned. Yeah, he did. That one's Julie. Yes. It's going to take them both. Wow, so sick. See that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Flop's bottom set. Lynn tries to play tricky. Doesn't work. Welcome to the table, LG. You are a distant third place right now. I want it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. LG with the bigger full house. Wow! What is going on? I am taking crazy pills. He did really. I thought for a second maybe the cards were wrong. Of five, you know? I'm not good enough to mug Mike. Nice hat. Uh, plus for the 10. Uh, Back about who's going to get paid. Huh? Or nine or an eight. Deuce! Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, one time. And Mike. Mike one All time. in. $50,000 pot. Chris just like needs to fade and he's six. On the river. And Chris going to scoop a fifty thousand dollar pot. So you need a five of diamonds to be a hero. Or any other diamond to just win the pot. Oh diamond, yeah. I'm sorry, because I know you got no boat. I call so bad. Shit. Gal, they talk him into a fold here. All right. He does. Gal talks him into a fold. He's going to fold? Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. If you want to... Don't show it. I don't want to see it. Wow. Don't show my hand. Wow. That's fucking sick, Josh. Ronnie. Ready to gamble. Ronnie needs to find a 10 or a 5. There's the five. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. Seems fair. We never lose taking a profit, babe. <laughs> Back over to Josh. He calls. And he hits a six. This might get him in a little bit of trouble. Oh, and the river's a six? That's crazy. Now Jeremy beats nothing, and he calls it off, though. Oh, man. Jeremy with yeah, an he's ambitious call there. It's ambitious, but he's thinking, would he go all in with an ace when it's 10, 9, 8, yeah, 6? Yeah, does he have 7 ever here? Yeah. 35k uh, pot to ludicrous. Oh Got to fade an ace or a king. Can he do it? He, he did it. Poker can be tough. Gall just played that hand perfectly and lost 60k. He didn't do anything. He's got to be thinking though it's not just seven more because it's going to be you know if he calls this it's another 28.50 really. Ooh. Wow. I did not bluff you. I don't know. You have it? Yep. I heard you. Oh. Oh. Yep. I like Nick's instincts. I think he probably wins the pot if he has more shit. What do you have? <laughs> we'll go twice. We're gonna go twice here. George needs to board the pair. Doesn't happen. Ace, ace. Jeremy's gonna win them both. So he did get a good run out here. Depending on how much Garrett bets, we could just see a call from, from Gaul. No, I no. don't. And he checks it back. I told you. Oh, I, he my. Had 
a dog leg right there. Wow. Garrett is too smart for that shit. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, you got to be kidding me. 3,000. Oh, no. Golf's checked here. He's obviously going to check well, raise. I mean, the only thing I'll say is Chris is so slow playing. 28,000 total. 28, total. Yeah. Actually saved him. Gall wins a hundred and eighty thousand dollar pot. If he calls this, the pot will be thirty thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. All in. All in. Oh, Bill just moved all in. Oh God, he always has it. With that, we say good night to Bill Klein. Bill, that's tough. George here has backed into a flush. And Krish is going to raise here in a value own raise here wow. on the button. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Jared, makes the call. A very good call from Garrett, putting all the pieces together. Got to give a shit. Wow, he snaps. Yeah, look at all the balls. Yeah. going to get some back here. Well, folks, this is an indication when you are flatting what could happen to you. When I start this game, I go to commerce first time. I pay 10, 20, no limit. I start like this. Oh, yeah, I'm bluffing all my life. My life is bluff. My life is bluff. My life is bluff. Life is bluff. Life is Life is bliss. Life is bliss. Bliss. Life is 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 bliss.
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Yeah. Told her if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me, it's not adding up Told her if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me, it's not adding up Hello and welcome to Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. We are live five nights a week, five o'clock Pacific time. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's Monday and we're playing 2550 because that's just what we do now. 2550 on a Monday. Sounds good to me. That's me, Raver Poker. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's been a crazy weekend. After the slow roll on Friday. If you guys haven't checked that out, go to our most recent video on our YouTube channel. Dylan slow rolled Garrett for nearly $200,000. There's Nick Vertucci, co-owner of High Stakes Poker Productions. And let me tell you this, this guy is making some serious moves right now for High Stakes Poker Productions. More on that later. Wesley, Crypto Apprenti one on Twitter. Famously, first invested in Bitcoin when it was at 10. 10. Not 10,000. 10. If I had a time machine. Man. Salim, connecting ideas to investors. Salim seems like the kind of guy who could make something happen. What a vague description of what he does. He makes it happen though, right? RB, of course, owns petting zoos. And isn't afraid to gamble. The petting zoo business is a much bigger business than I think we all understood before. Because this guy loves to gamble. Fearless. Here's Zio. Just rolled out of bed like usual. He's quiet on the show, but I'm telling you, one of the greatest poker minds that I've ever conversed with. Even this, this war that, you know, US-Russia war is Look at this. The deep stack is Wesley. It's not good for all the risky assets. $40,000. Wes is buying in deep tonight. Yeah, because some people say Bitcoin is a gold, but eventually they found when the war starts, Bitcoin down. So... It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of gold. It's something like it's a risky assets. It's, it's yeah. a lot of uh, something like gold. Well, the, I, like so we're starting off five-handed because, it's not it's as like usual, our like players gold. are fashionably late. And check this out. No, no, he's saying it's not. Max risky Bet TV. Gold. gold is better. Yeah. Sponsor of the felt. More on them later. Yeah, he's saying that. <clears throat> Let's play some poker. Good start. Let's go. Keep going. <laughs> so, you change, please. You play poker for 30 yards? No. 
but not like this. More, you know, like just show up for a few hours, that type of thing. I haven't played serious. Do we have a coach or a reverse? Can I have 50 in the middle and 50 in front of you? Yeah. Stuff like that. Coach? Study, study, study. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hands up now. So RB has flopped top pair here. And Wesley is going to make a pure float. Oh, no, he's going to raise. Wesley's going to raise here. So Wesley came to play. Wesley's been mixing it up. Wesley famously only learned to play the game of poker two months ago and has been learning in these nosebleed state games. We've watched his journey. He might be able to steal this pot if he bets big enough. No. RB would love to check this back. He's going to bet. <coughs> Wes lets it go. Hey, what's up, Bear? How are you, man? So, see, a lot of you guys talking about the felt. There's a nice shot of the felt. The felt is sponsored by Max Bet TV. One of our new partners. Their site has just launched. And there's going to be a lot of cool things to come on it. Think of it like a Twitch slash YouTube specifically for gambling streamers. Here's Barry, by the way. He ain't doing nothing else. Which Barry famously says when he makes questionable calls. Everyone rubs on my nose. Yeah, he's too stubborn. Especially you wear your mask upside down, huh? Gangster. Upside down. Uh, upside down? Yeah, use it upside down. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So Wesley bought in deep, and he clearly has bad intentions with this game, right? You can tell right away he's playing this differently than he has been. It's interesting to watch Wesley's journey in poker because it's like you can Thank see you. him learning and testing the boundaries of things in real time. That's him. So he's clearly going to try to employ a more aggressive style tonight. Hello, I like it. How are you, love? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Can I wait one hand? Yes, ma'am. You got it. Are we going to need a big one? 50 in the middle and 50 in front of you. And you get And so, yeah, MaxBet TV. And the MaxBet TV crew is watching right now. So shout out to Mike McKiskey, Gene Smith, Landon Jones, Brian Sutton. These guys are the force behind MaxBet TV. And also the MaxBet TV podcast, which is fantastic, by the way. Jack four versus Jack four. Jack shit versus Jack shit, more like. Neither player connects with the board. 100. Okay. So now it's RB's turn to float. Okay. Both players with a gutter to a five. Whatever you did, that feels better. Oh, yes. And both players assume they are behind. Oh, they both hit the five. So they really do have the sucker end of the straight, obviously. Because an eight would be a better straight. So I don't expect the betting to get too big here. Just a bet and a call. And he's 40. Don't, oh no, show the hand, Wesley. He almost mucked. Oh, you acted like you didn't have anything. 
<laughs> nice hand. It was mine. Yeah, I know. I thought it was mocking. <laughs> I was like, all right. Same hand, huh? What are the chances? <laughs> the good old Jack Four. Wesley, you slurled me, Wesley. Yeah, I think that qualifies as yeah. a slurl. You know what that is, slurl? Oh, no. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Now I know. That was a tricky. nice slurl, man. I'll give you that. that now was I nice. know. I wasn't expecting no. that. He Our... says no when he knows. Now I know for sure. Our slow rolls on that. It seems to be all, all, all the talk. Did you, did you know you have a straight? <laughs> sure. No, I didn't know. Uh, oh, you didn't know you oh, had yeah, a straight? Yeah, eventually uh, I don't get He said eventually. <laughs> when they gave him the chips. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wow, I won. Okay. <laughs> Nick wakes up with Big Slick. And when Nick puts a raise in like this, in early position, the table listens. Zio has nines, but he's going to proceed cautiously because he knows that Nick is not making that raise there with pocket eights. He's just not doing it right there. Maybe he is, but not all the time. Zio gets a free card there. And as Zio, you might think that the Nines have a decent chance of being good against a lot of players, but against Vertucci betting here. And then if you call this bet, you're going to have to call again on the river. And that doesn't feel very good. So he's going to make the call, and it, you can almost see him shrugging. Doesn't really like this situation too much. And there's another overcard and a club. So that's going to make folding a lot easier for him now. This is a mandatory bet spot for Nick. And he's probably targeting a hand just like Zio has. Eights, nines, tens, jacks. And I think if you're Zio and you called the bet on the turn, you got to call here. What was your plan? I mean, sure, the clubs came home. It's another overcard. You're getting a really good price. Almost three to one. It's hard to find a bluff here for Nick, though, but he does make the call. Nick the nuts. He always has the nuts. Nick the nuts. That's pretty Nick is one of the most profitable poker players on the show. People in chat love to give him hate. Oh, Nick Vertucci, Nick Vertucci. You know what? I want you to bluff a big pot. One of the top five earners lifetime on the show. Beat him in a big pot. Okay. It's good for the show. Not here to play around. He's here to make money. He does a good job of it. And here's Brett arriving. Especially if it's a bluff. Big fan of the yeah, Island yeah. Boys. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just fold this Let's one. assume yeah. that's sarcastic. <laughs> we'll see if he starts breaking out in an Island Boys song. So Wesley's very connected with this board. Turn was an absolute blank. Although 4-5 did get there, it seems pretty unlikely. Wesley's ahead with simply king high. And see, that's a good raise spot, Wesley. I like that. I think Wesley's figuring out the spots where he should take that fold equity, which is exactly what he did there. He's losing to a lot of ace highs. 
little pairs, things like that, yeah, that you can fold out with that bet. You like took like a bunch of money from me. Did, sad, I, did yeah. I steal it or win it? You won it. Oh, that's good. I think I gave it to you. I think it's what really happened. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, he remembered. Wow, where's the interest? I'm Italian. It's called Vig, <laughs> Vig. Need the Vig. And so on the way over here tonight, so my drive in, I listened to the Max Bet TV podcast. It's hosted by Mike and Landon, these two guys. And it's all about the gambling industry. It's really interesting. If you're looking for a good podcast on gambling, this is absolutely the podcast for you. Their most recent episode, they had this girl on who works in the casino industry, or rather, she's getting her PhD working with robots that could work in the casino industry. There's a lot of ways that robots could serve the casino industry, as you can imagine. From walking up to players with an ATM, offering ways to make bets, you know. And so the girl they had on, she is basically studying the ways that humans interact with robots. What time do you guys normally Really play? cool. So, um, we are playing whatever we started. We Ask all sorts of cool questions. Cool. Yeah. These guys have been in the industry for a while. So check it out, Max Bet, on any podcast app. Now, since we're shorthanded for food, I think we should like decide who wants to go first, right? Yeah, yeah. Barry goes at seven. Se oh, you go. No, no, it's just different. That's hilarious. I'll probably go at four, four thirty. No, what's, it's at two now, right? So I'll go at right. five. Uh, you you already ate, right? Yes. Can I I'll go, go next? I'm, I'm starving. Go ahead. I haven't. Please. I'll go at five. I'll go at five. I'll take my break at five. Dio never eats, so he's good. So Wesley has a gutter here. He's a robot, and right? once again, <laughs> he's choosing a spot to take fold equity. He has two overcards to the board and a gut shot to a jack. And this is a bluff disguised as a value bet. Sometimes I like that play, not in this situation. I think Wesley wanted to bet there, should have sized up. That's a scare card, but Nick hits it. So Wesley might try to fire again. This absolutely will not work. The way this hand is played, Nick has the effective nuts, basically. A two is so unlikely. The draw is missed. Nick will probably raise here and hope to get called by a weaker ace. Gary in chat says, hear me out. Casinos are going to make robots like, that look exactly you like humans. You, you did, <laughs> you've been fucking crushing it, man. Can you teach us whatever you did? I have voodoo past, dolls. Past two I have months. voodoo dolls for all you guys. <laughs> I, know. I stick pins in you before the show. <laughs> make robots that look exactly like humans to beat humans in games. I don't yeah. think that's going to happen anytime I don't, I don't soon. I stick anything in you. I'm not worried about you. <laughs> but after listening to the podcast, I... I do think that <laughs> robots will be serving us Actually, in a casinos a lot more and quickly really joking, you shouldn't be. than I previously I've thought. We've been married a long time. Yes, I get it. So both players connect with this ace. And 
I don't see any world so where Wesley like model, is going to be able to get away from this. And yeah, he's going to raise. Closed it up, locked oh. it. Quick call from Barry. Both players are pretty sure they're good here, I think. Wesley has a great hand to check call with, but he do, it is going to bet. 4,000 call. Yeah, it just gets snapped off by Barry. This <laughs> game not three bet me. <laughs> Hard to tell when you don't get three bet by a big dude like that, huh? Yeah, Hard can to see. Can can say that. He's sneaky. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Barry tips fifty dollars. Sneaky, 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 Barry, Barry. A small tip for Barry, honestly. So I saw Max Bet Media in the chat. These guys are pretty cool. So these guys have this woman on the show who's talking about how robots are going to be serving us in casinos and all this stuff. And they're asking all these questions, you know, about how we're going to work with them and all this stuff. And then Landon asks her if she thinks aliens gamble. And it's... <laughs> It was, it's pretty funny. And Mike just kind of shut up and let him hang himself a little bit. You could just kind of feel her give him the, what? So anyways, it's a funny show. Check it out. He checked already. see me with some alcohol in my hand. I want you to slap it out of my hand. Last night, too? You drink? I'm drinking too much, man. I know, and I know I am. It's like... Wow. It's for the record, I meant to bet three, but I don't care. I don't even know that. Okay, guys. Cool. In my Sweet. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. 1400 I really wish I'd best three. <laughs> so we have round two coming up. Oh, Wesley folds. Actually, let's get this man out. So Wesley's showing some discipline here. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel better. Just have one. Just kidding. One or most of you, you're good to go. That's a call that Wesley would have been making last week. <laughs> I mean, really. Best cure for hangover. More alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Keep drinking. A bump on a log here. No, no, deal here. These don't worry about these. <laughs> it's my fault. I understand. Here, see what you do if I put them right here. <laughs> yeah, just everyone always goes. I'm just right here at the zip of the wind cage. We'll just blind that guy off. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what's up, man? Brett, I'm nice Barry. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Heads up now. So 
So Zio flops top pair, and he's been watching Wesley just fire, fire, fire. So he's going to let Wesley keep doing that. And I am sure that he's just going to keep giving him rope. Just calls. Exactly. That one's hard to do, right? No, it's not that bad. Hey, buddy, how about you want a piece of gum? No, I'm good. No, you want a piece of gum? No, I'm good. Zio now with three queens and the second nut flush draw. And Wesley is going to fire into him. Maybe three. Yeah. Someone's on the slower side. Harder. It's a little bit harder, right? Yeah, it is. I guess just scoot over the other way. Just a call from Zio. A brilliant line. He's absolutely making the maximum here. And he checks again. Okay, and Wesley just checks it back. Yeah, yeah. It's like when I sit real close to Chris, I'm so glad we have this. I wonder who's going to be Harley. Is it coming tomorrow? Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. Three of heart, yeah. Wait, he had a three? Sir, you know the mask mandate's over. You don't have to enter the box. Oh, he had king three. Okay, so there is a reader error on his hand. That's weird. He had king three. So they are de when this happens. Right now, they're going to be investigating that card. What happens is, is there's an RFID chip in each card. And so there's a chance that one of the cards is giving a bad signal or something. It happens. And so on this hand, I think they're going to be testing that. They kept letting me win. And then a card will have to be replaced. Barry raises it up to 200. RB calls. <laughs> Neither player has a pair. You already had it out, too. Yeah, how do you know, man? That's the hangover tax. But they both have ace high. It just goes check, check. 300. Bet and a call. RB needs a 10. Doesn't find it. Is Barry betting his ace high for value? Because I think he's going to get it. I think he's going to get it here. It's twice I'm, I have this hand and you're betting me out. I don't know if I'm making a good fold or I'm being a... Okay, he, he lets boy. it go. But he absolutely could have got paid there. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice, bro. You're making me fold that hand. Whoa. Sure. Yeah. Everyone agrees. Yeah, Everyone? yeah of course. Why not? I'm first. No, I'm first. Yeah, 50 or 100. What do you want? Oh, it's a, we're playing 2550. It's not yeah, the empty yeah, yeah. game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Frank DeBugnera says the Wednesday show is going to be so great. Ain't that the truth? Norman Chad. Commentating with Mark Goon. Vince Van Patten uh, is in the game. Twofold. They're uh, advertising with us, of course, as you could see. Yes. Wednesday and, and, is uh, must-see TV. Have a channel an arrangement with them. An arrangement. Oh, we have two channels with them on their on their new platform. We'll see how we're going to see how it goes. Yes, ma'am. Good, good. What's that for? Maximum. Oh shit. Maximum exposure. Yeah. Good for you. Welcome to the game, Brett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For us, exactly. It's a very big three bet. And both players here with very similar holdings, offsuit Broadway cards. One of the worst candidates to call a big three bet with. And look at this as Celine here. Yeah, this would have been a third of his stack. Brett takes it down. So we pay the tip when when Barry paid that he paid a fifty dollar tip, okay, cool. but we also Just tip. Yeah. But you don't you know obviously sure. it's not mandatory, but we all do. I mean how can we not? They're so good, you know. Yeah. She's the best. So. Yeah. Hundred shadow once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
RB gonna try to hit a five. He does hit a five. Oh, uh, Zio. <laughs> How can you not think you're good as Zio? So many hands you can get value from here. How does RB want to proceed? Looks like he's just gonna call, but Zio has a hand that could withstand a raise. Eight doesn't really change very much. Okay. It's very unlikely a player would have an eight, although it is possible. Okay, then. Zia's spidey sense is tingling. And now the front door diamond draw comes home. So this might slow down action a little bit, or at least control the bet sizing. Of course, RB now has a full house. Just gets snap called by Zio. Wow. Oh, I had three school on the river. Thank God. No. But Zio absolutely lost the minimum there. Nice pot control on the turn. I think a lot of players are betting there on that turn. I'm betting there on that turn. I don't even know why I would have. Do what you call. Zio's line makes way more sense. Because if you're behind there, you're way behind is the thing. If Zio's behind, he's way behind. It means because Barry left, he has to become the big blind. He missed the straddle, but he'll... Barry, come back. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah, just wait. No, we're trying to... Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, Yeah, he's got a hand. He's got a hand. We're good. You can put your straddle out now. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Another big line. And that service, they must like you, Barry. They do, and I love them. <laughs> my turn. No, I think it, I think it's one hundred. Yes. Yeah. All in. All in. <laughs> So Salim is playing the short stack here and just shoves all in with ace deuce off. And Barry's thinking about gambling. Show the deuce. Show the deuce, Salim. Oh, he shows the ace, the opposite of what I would have done. a decent amount of money, so I'm hoping... Nick owes everybody a decent amount of money. I hope he freaking... Because he has collected money. I hope he remembers. Everybody at this table. Very, very big, brother. It's funny how my brother will remember when you when you win. He's 50 now. They don't remember them down Yeah. 800. I mean, people, not MF. Yeah, I know you mean. Check to my friend. Check. Brett says, check to my friend. And when a player does that, Call one time. they're trying to make you just check, right? AKA what he said there is, I want a free card. People just say the truth a lot of the time. Now, Brett has turned the nuts. 
Nine hundred. And $3. Wesley is betting into him again. What? That was a very quick raise. <laughs> so fast. Did I win? Is the game over or no? So I think Brett's intention there was to make it look like a bluff. But I think... It means more to me, Wesley. Leave me alone. What it actually makes it look like is that he has a monster that didn't even need to think about it that's always raising there. I don't think these are the kind of things Wesley's thinking yet. Ooh. Right, right. That's what I said. No. Give it to your friends. Give it to your friends, Wesley. But I'm telling you, timing tells at the table. Uh, bad player. Bad the number one mistake that a lot of mid-range poker players make, mid-stakes poker players is not controlling their timing tells. The quick calls. I know I mentioned that a lot, but boy, you can gain a lot of information about a hand by just watching how fast they act. A quick call, by the way, almost always denotes a mediocre hand. It means their hand wasn't strong enough to even that's consider how, yeah, raising. That's how easy it is. <laughs> At nine, three off. Quick raise, on the that's other that's hand, that's means their hand is so strong <laughs> they didn't even off. consider anything else. I prefer the one first to make purple. Straight. Yeah, so I, I never like saying it at I like that. No, it's good. It's perfect. <laughs> it, it got the point across. It's more polite. Yes, it know. was. It felt very <laughs> relaxed. Hundred <laughs> straddle once again. Fold. Parthino Carpi says, can you make a bad timing tell against a newer player like Wes and get away with it? Oh, heck yes. Yeah, Wes is not picking up on those things. But against an experienced pro, they will pick up on those things. And Zio is facing a three bet from Wesley. And Zio is so smart. I, I guarantee that Zio is considering all of his options right now. He knows Wesley's been getting out of line. He has blocker to aces, a big suited hand. It's a great candidate for a big four bet. And he is going to do that. I think this was the best option here. The worst option being calling. Button's good. Nice hand by Zio. They are doing a straddle round. I have compassion. We suffer from the same challenge. I have compassion. I'm the button. We suffer from the same challenge. This has got to be a hard move for you. Again, this table is way bigger than an average size poker table. It is. Like what, a 10 cent table? I have so many jokes. So easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Barry, just so you know, man, I'm with you, bro. Yeah. Because it's black. I mean, oh so many things. Oh, my God. They are lying to me, man. They're just saying. saying to each other. You're giving me so many lies. <laughs> I know, brother. I look right at you. Oh, I'm with my you. my goodness. <laughs> I'm so lost. Heat it up. I didn't realize I was setting him up, but I guess well, I mean, in hindsight, it's clear now. You know. Oh, my God. I know. Hindsight. I know. It's a good test for me and Barry both. Yeah. I'm, the restraint. <laughs> it took discipline for you guys to Discipline, yeah. Oh, my God. But we, we had our, we had our, we had our moment anyway. It just, it just felt different. It landed different. I think we're good there, like, if it lands that way. You know what I mean? Heads up, then. <laughs> and look at this. Oh, boy. Brett bet his gutter. Barry now has a draw to split with Brett. Barry needs a jack. Check. The king changes nothing. And this is a really smart check by Brett. 1,500. 1,500. And so Brett has the absolute nuts here. His hand cannot be beat. 6,700. 
6700. Right, what you got left, young man? Don't do it, Barry. I don't know. This is posturing by Barry. He just Oh, very scary. Push him to the limit. Very scary. No. This is fun. You can show if you want. I don't know how. Why would he show? He has it. If you wanted to show, then he changed his mind last second. <laughs> <laughs> I like you guys. Free yeah, money. We won't judge you, bro. You can show. We all suck. You guys play every day? We won't remember no. it or even know what I it know. means. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> My mom gave me this money to go buy groceries. Here I am. She's gonna be mad when you come back. Yeah. With just a bean stock and a cow. <laughs> Come back with some magic beans. That's a shit. <laughs> Come back with magic beans and a cow. She's gonna be pissed off. It's happened before. <laughs> I've been chewed out before. I've been chewed out before. Yeah, it's okay. Ray? No, I, I think it's a straddle. You want a straddle? No, the, if you want to, you can, but one round oh, is, okay, over. Okay, I'll, is over. I'll, but you can if you want. Yeah. Too late. You look at your hand. Yeah, now you can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> 200. Can I get the menu and order so it's ready when yeah, I'm cool. I don't want to wait yet. Please, Let's thank go, you. Jack. Wow. So hitting sets okay. on the flop. That's the theme of the night so far. Okay. And I'm okay with it. I'm going to bet $400. This is an all-out bluff here from Brett. Cool. Doesn't have Careful, any draw to speak it. of. No, 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 Jack, no, Jack. Oh. Thank you. It says no Jack. How about 650? The price is about to get a lot more. Nice hand. Oh, definitely a nice hand. <laughs> <laughs> How much is Barry tipping here? Let's watch. Uh, Barry is after you. Oh, just 25, Barry. That's a small pot. Barry is too hungover to know what's going on right now, man. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like no. Barry got me. <laughs> Barry got me. So there's Max Bet TV again. So we have a channel on Max Bet TV. We've been working to set this up. And you guys can now go check it out live. It is HSPN, the High Stakes Poker Network. It is streaming Hustler Casino Live 24 hours a day. Yeah, I was like, this is easy. Yeah, everyone thinks that until they sit there right where you are. All right. How do loans work? Do I have to repay this at the end? Or? To your mom? Yeah. No, he doesn't. It's three what the history is, you know? Oh, uh, shit. I'm gonna check oh, like shit. most blocks. Here we go. Yeah, that's one. I'll check. 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 Around. Check again. Let's see if mine is good. Bold. Two hundred. Breakfast uh, all day, or just all day? Kaiser Ali says, Why is tipping necessary? Aren't the dealers already getting paid by the casinos for their work? Or is it the casinos being cheap? It's just one of those jobs. They live off the tips. The amount they make, it's like being a waitress, you know? Their wages are lower because they make their money from the tips. Always tip your dealers, guys. Always tip your dealers. Every time you win a hand, tip the dealer. Doesn't matter if it's a dollar. No, I got it. Tip on every hand that you win. When you're the winner of a hand, always tip. This thing is safe as bet, you know. Just eggs. I'll get the breakfast. Take me, take me, take me. With bacon, yeah, with everything, whatever comes. Bet. Bet. Four hundred dollar bills. No, it comes in half Oh god. Oh god. Still three? Still three of us. 
Check. Check for sure. Do you let me know when you're ready or do you have to bank on Master of Null says, I even tip online dealers. 1,500. For the three of us. That's just you. Well, meanwhile, Barry hit a three on the river. Phone a friend. Last time I bet 15, you made it 6,000. Did I? He wants that again. So Barry is very honest with his table talk. Don't do it. Wow, he's actually baiting him into a raise here. I'm just going to fold, I guess. Yeah, that's the smart move. To, but You'll appreciate this when you watch it back. I asked, for, I asked for a three. Didn't you guys hear me? I kept asking. Oh, I'm glad I folded. Damn. I said three. Thank you. Jeez. I do it every time, and they never pick up on it. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> Next time you won't do it. <laughs> Not that you said. I couldn't I said, hear it because I was I said, like yelling in my head. I said, how like, many players? Club. Club. Three. Three, right? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Three? I'll try to listen next time. Don't, no. I won't do it again, trust me. Shit. You lost your opportunity, bro. Yeah, That's you it. Tricked that out. Straddle. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to learn a lot of lessons today. Every day. You got, you got them in the box, dude. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cool. You know who else you should tip? Here's a tip on tipping. The floor guy. Hand him a chip. Say, hey, I appreciate you, man. Then the next time you're there and you want to get over to table 10, you say, hey, hook it up, table 10. Hand him another chip. He'll get you there. No, you don't me up, man. I can't. I feel like you're going to. Yeah. I just feel that. Based on chip stats, I only think that's possible one way, right? right? Yeah. I know he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't yeah just deal him in. Hundred straddle once again. Ooh. Three hundred now. Upstairs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Talked him out of it. There's four players in the game? Just like you raising. Yeah. I'm going to grab a lot real quick. Check. Everyone misses this. Wesley only has one overcard to his pair. Pretty rare with sixes. Longest check ever. Don't worry about it. And now he has an up and down straight draw. That check okay. took fucking minutes. So this is a good spot to bet, Wesley. You have outs against everything. In this case, you're also ahead. I thought about getting freaky with it. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, huh? You have to go back and forth in your mind. In like, my head, yeah. Should I? Shouldn't I? I thought you, I knew you were behind me. I was like, oh shit. So it's interesting. We have the opening scene of Reservoir Dogs playing out in the chat. People arguing about tipping. Sorry about that, Wesley. Anyone who's worked in the service industry understands why Mr. Pink was absolutely in the wrong in that argument. You got a tip. Raise. Are we shadowing or are we not shadowing? I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, I mean, I am, but Nick's not here. Oh, I, I didn't realize we were shadowing. I was shadowing. Oh, no, you go, you go. Well, I, just, I, I thought, I thought they said play. one orbit. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Is it going to just keep it? I don't care. What do you guys want? I don't care. Just keep it. No, it's not fair to others, so let's just do it. I'll do it, you'll do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, just do it whenever you choose. Yeah. I didn't realize we were I'd like to choose it too, but... I see Josh yeah. in the chat. He says, I'm the goat tipper raver. That is true, by the way. I hear the dealers talk about the tips. You know, they're, they're always yeah, talking about that. Sure this guy tips, this guy tips. Keep it going. You know? Just 
one hundred percent Josh's top two tipper. Yeah, yeah, remind me. Top three. I'll check. 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 Maybe even number one. I don't know. Five hundred. Five hundred. But you don't see many players giving five hundred dollar tips to the dealer, and Josh has done that. Back to the poker, though. Brett, Wesley, and Barry. Check. Barry misses. Brett's just going to check here, and he's happy to check call, whatever Wesley's going to bet. This is just a snap call. Yeah, he just snaps it off. This is why when you're playing poker... And if you're consistently playing better cards than your opponent, you're going to win. Brett's in there with ace-king. Wesley's in there with king-ten. Sure, there's some times where Wesley's going to win, but a lot of the time, ace-king is going to get a lot of value from that hand. Dustin Wilkins says 500 bucks in California is like $100 everywhere else. Hey, it buys you 10 gallons of gas. It's not bad. Celine looks down at dimes. And remember, he went all in with ace deuce off. So how is he not going to be all in here? Remember, he went all in with ace deuce offsuit. Showed the ace, so he gave the impression he had a much bigger hand than he did. They're running it twice. Salim's going to get two chances to hit a 10. RB wins the first one. Now he's drawing dead. Mm -hmm. Good one. Thank you. You're welcome. for this game. Salim has rebought in for 5,000. And now it's his turn with pocket queens. RB is going to try to catch a deuce. Oh. 
Ooh, fun pot. Gamble, gamble. How about a five-way pot? Check. Okay. It's annoying when you're Salim here. Six. Don't go on entitlement tilt. Your hand was good before. Maybe reevaluate now. There's four players behind you. Or three, rather. He's going to make the call. He is beating all of Barry's bluffing hands. Say, queen, ten of clubs. Well, queen, ten of clubs just got there. Oh, I remember that face. Oh, That's a no. face only a mother could love. <laughs> Both players <laughs> just right. want to get oh. to a free showdown now. Rough, rough crowd, and I think it will get there most of the time. Just goes check, check. And why bet That's here as Salim? Are you going to try to make a king oh, fold? Ryan, Are you going to try to get That's value good. from a jack? Yeah, it makes no sense. Queens. Queens, right? Mm. Good call. Well, like, small, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't I do not remember it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know Taylor and Trump, I know Yeah, yeah. I know Taylor and another Trump like him. Yeah. God, that's been a million years since I was communicating. Oh, thank you. I was making changes. Yeah, yeah. Hundred straddle. Three hundred. What did I have? I think you uh, you fought the set. I think you that sounds about right. <laughs> I think you fought the set, like middle set. I flopped pot pair and turn, turn two, two pair. And I was like, I have the best hand. <laughs> It was like not true. One thousand five hundred. For my friend. Master of Null in the chat asked, when robots take over no, dealing, no, will we tip not. them? Probably not. Boy, I wonder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, guys, magic's so here. This everyone. is exciting. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Let's learn a little bit more about MaxBet TV. Bet TV, first video streaming platform created by gamblers for gamblers. It's somebody actually don't even know. And bluffers too. They definitely take bluffers. We are accepted over there. Magic, magic. Poker players are the funniest, bro. We spend like thousand a hand oh, and I know. for twenty five bucks. Yeah. Like, hey, can you comp it? Uh, or, or the typical playing, <laughs> playing pots hundred thousand in the magic. typical. Very good. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's my twenty five. <laughs> no, I put it in. They're fighting over for five the bucks. effort. <laughs> for the effort. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So right now the they're talking they're about, they're about they're the they're phenomenon they're 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 of they're how they're 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 poker players have very different accounting for money in poker versus money in the real world. And he's so right about that. Dude won't even blink. Just donking off a few thousand dollars, but then when it comes to twenty dollars for lunch or this or that, you know, it's just different accounting, and you learn that as you play more poker because you can't think of it like money when you're playing. It has to be a game. If you're thinking of it as money and the value of it, you've already lost. The game's over. You have to be able to demonetize it and just think of it as a game. 
Then you just play GTO, and you win. Easy game. 29,600 now to go. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow, the unusual like, wow, like four bet. No, he didn't. <laughs> he was kidding as he folded. Yeah, I'm more to go. inching my way back. I'm so excited. I was like, give it to me one time. I want that cheese. Nick and Wesley both going to call for a discount. You just tip wow. the dealer 200 bucks. Wow. That's very Dave. Very Dave. You got to pay double, bro. It's two fives. You got five? <laughs> check. Check. Everyone check. Tipping the dealer $200 mid-hand is essentially asking for good cards. Barry thinks that's a good card, but it gives Nick a better two pair. So let's see. Wesley's going to raise it up. What do you do here as Nick? Your hand isn't quite strong enough to repop it, is it? But you're giving a lot of hands a free card here. Where am I in this hand? That's kind of what he's wondering. He's obviously losing to any five. The 10 is a relative blank. Can Nick find the bet here? Barry might do it for him. No, Barry just, yeah. Barry loved checking that back. Should you be betting there as Nick? I don't know. I almost, I almost bombed the turn, I thought. Well, yeah, he almost did. Well, yeah, I went like that. Know. I went, well. Thank you, Nick. Maybe. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Yum, yum. Thank you. Rage rules in the chat says, go blue, go blue. U of M. Class of 2010 right here. Sorry. You're 50, 50. Oh, am I? Okay, good. Well, I'm the 50? No, no, Nick. No. I am, I am. I just... Cool. I was sitting to let you see that free flop. That's what, it, that's what I'm mad about. Yes. I'm out. Like, here we go. Free flop so here. Wesley has limped so in with queens. Yeah. So Wesley back, <laughs> experimenting Nick. with a lot of different Bring lines. He's raising with 7-4, calling with queens. You know well, we're past the straight leg shit, thank God. <laughs> or the, or the, the skinny yeah, pants. Uh, the leggings, bro. I've seen guys wear leggings. Guys. <laughs> I, I, you know, I had enough of that. Especially That's crazy, right? That they wear leggings. Like, especially like, when, yeah, especially yeah. when the guy isn't skinny. Yeah. That makes yeah, it worse. Yeah. That's like, like, you, you, that's you like a SpongeBob thing, and it just, like, fuck. You know, like. When you have heavy, like, top set of guys. Yeah, and then you wear skinny pants. Like, what are you doing? You trying to be SpongeBob? So I don't know what's in right now. Not really a fashion. And story. how much yeah. is Wesley gonna make I'm this? So out of the loop. I don't know. Yeah, no idea. Like black T-shirts I think are in. Eighteen hundred. <laughs> and this is what Wesley's been waiting for. Heads up. Oh, we have Kush Wax, Kush Wax connection in the chat. The legend Richard. Richard, we miss you here. It's been a long 2022 without you on the show. Hit up Ryan. Get on the show. We need more Richard. This hand is interesting because Barry hates folding these monsters, right? And now he has the nut diamond draw 
and out to a straight and straight flush. A diamond would be a disastrous card for Wesley. Thing is, with Wesley's hand here, you gotta apply pressure. There's a lot of hands that want to see a free river. Instead, he's gonna size. Oh, he just checks. You could see him thinking about it. And now you're gonna give Barry a chance to catch up and hit a free card. Don't put it on your mouth all at once. Hot. Check, check. And there it is. Wow. That is a disastrous river. And now he's going to bet. Now he's going to bet. Because he feels like he missed value on the turn. Thing is, his hand actually plays best as a check call. Because you hate to get raised. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. Because Barry has the absolute nuts. Actually, 6-4 of diamonds would be the nuts. I know, but that's unrealistic. He has the effective nuts. How much is Barry gonna make it? Does he just put Wesley all in? He does. And so Wesley makes the call. Oh. Wesley's eyes lit up when he saw the king turned over. Then came the ace of diamonds. And so, Wesley, when you look back on this hand, think about why we should be betting on that turn. Because you want to deny your opponent a free card. Your hand is beating most hands. It's a decently draw-heavy board with three diamonds there. Any diamond is coming along. And then, on the river, when you lead out... You're giving those better hands a chance to re-raise you. Check on the river would have been much better. Let's take a look at the cumulative winnings now. Brought to you by MaxBet TV. Barry's now up $25,000 almost. Wesley on the other side, down $35,000. Thank, Thank you, Taha, late to arrive. Coming in at seat nine, I think, eventually. rule says just get more sushi that's what I need right now some sushi that hint's interesting because you can't look at the hand that Barry actually ended up having I think it's better to look at that hand yeah, I was flying, like, right the range of hands that Barry could have that continue uh, like, there we'll see it here at like 12 all the pairs. And got delayed till four. All the hands with a diamond oh, in them. There's so just I, so I, many I, hands yeah, Barry could have I like, That's not work, so I actually that Wes a is way ahead of on the turn, yeah. and that what, uh, what won't give you anything uh, if they miss. Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was a hustle and bustle coming. <laughs> yeah, you made it. Thank you for raising it. Honor, honor. I was excited. You much? 15. <laughs> Sorry. Bob Black says, Barry was all in from the get-go. Wesley needs to buy in more to deter calls. It's true. Wesley was a little bit short there. Definitely not going to take the, the sealer or the rim protection. Yeah, no, I give it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Whether they want it or not. They nice. get it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Just kidding. We sell a variety of great products. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Excuse me. Brother 
another made it three. I'm sorry, I'm first. Yeah, my bad. Okay. And this is a dream scenario for Wes. He's now short stacked. And it's just going to look like he's on tilt. And Nick might just say, let's put it in. Instead, he just makes the call. Heads up. Not getting great implied odds here because Wesley's so short. Neither player with a diamond. Neither player likes this at all. 900. 900. I add like uh, 50K. Okay, you're, you're He's adding 50,000. Let's go. West side. Let's get some west sides in the chat. Wes is like, that was fun. Let's do it again. 50 more thousand, please. Must be nice, right? So Gage Rice had a super chat asking about playing on the show. If you want to play on the show, the person to contact is Ryan Feldman on Twitter. It's there. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Find Ryan Feldman's Twitter. Banked right off the corner. Send him a message. We're thinking about creating forms or something in the future, but for now, Ryan Feldman Twitter. That's the official place to submit a request to play on the show. There is no such thing as a 5-5 game at Hustler anymore. We grew out of that game. Yeah, sure. We only run the 10-20 game maybe once every other week now. And look, this is 25-50 on a Monday. Call me a massage, please. Things are changing at Hustler. Oh, you guys have massages here? Heck yeah. Nick has a suited ace. He's going to raise the price. Price went up. 500. It wasn't even worth one. Yeah, 50K. What is that? One Bitcoin? Wes just thinks of the money in Bitcoins. Wes would love a free card here. It's a decent card. So now Wesley has hearts. He has an up and down straight draw. But it's a paired board. It's always dangerous to chase straight and flush draws on a paired board. Even if you hit, you might be bad. And Nick's going to continue here. He knows that he's ahead. Or not just continue. He's going to raise it up. He's going to raise it up. And does Wesley want to gamble right now? He's getting a 
two to one on a call. Because getting the right price. He makes the call. Wesley has about half the deck to hit here. But that is not one of them. Both players might think they need to bluff here. Nick doesn't want to give a free check back to Wesley. Your ace high is good though, Nick. And then if Wesley can find a raise, it will work. Think it through, Wes. It's just really hard to find a raise here. Nice hand, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Gage. Maybe I didn't understand your question. If your question was simply, can you come here and make a vlog? Go for it. I thought you were asking about getting on the show. You can make a vlog. They have weird rules about filming in the casino, you know? If that's what you're asking, you're going to have to film just outside, stuff like that, but you can definitely do that. Raise it up. Four hundo. Asshole. Bully. <laughs> Nick the bully. That was what they called you in high school. I remember. <laughs> How was the bully buster, man? The bully buster. The bully buster. I didn't like bullies. How long were you in the PD? Uh, close to 20 years. Oh, wow. Awesome. Just had somebody uh, that I knew die this yeah, week. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Helicopter, yeah. Crazy. Crash. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, he was a couple years on when I retired. I hope his family is... God, so sad. Yeah, for sure. Wife, kid. It's a helicopter, you said, huh? Yeah, I think it's... I don't know for sure. I think it's engine failure. 250 is the race. My uh, fiancé's dad is a uh, detective. Where at? In Arizona? Uh, no, in uh, Kansas City. Oh, okay. Yeah. No lying to that guy. <laughs> right? Not well, a good idea, right? This is yes, annoying sir. as Wesley. Yes, sir. Now you wake up with a hand and you raise and you just get no action. You said father in law? Uh, almost, yeah. Everyone's almost. watching oh, you just right blast right off here. Yeah. And then you finally get two cards. And everyone just folds. That's pretty tilting. This is an interesting flop because Nick has an overpair. Zio has a pair and a straight draw. But the board is black. Wesley's cards are red. He has hearts. It's, it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll go next. And he's going to yeah. need some help. I was kidding. But... He's a gentleman. I'll take it. No, it's all right. I'll go next. He's kidding, but he'll take it. I'll go next. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah. Check you. So that card shouldn't scare Nick at all. It's pretty unlikely. 
that Zio is going to connect with that nine. So there's a lot of worse hands that Zio could be playing, which he has one. Can we just do my hands for right now? And then you can grab something for you. Yeah, how much is it? This is as wet and connected a board as you can have for this kind of hand. There's two flush draws, a lot of straight draws. What's best for Zio's hand? Is it to apply pressure, make your hand into a bluff? That is what he's going to do. This is a semi-bluff with value. And it puts Nick's hand in a really weird spot. How do you interpret this as Nick? There's so many draws out there. You have to ask yourself, would a hand like ace nine of spades, let's say, would be one of the primary hands you'd be afraid of be playing this way. Maybe. But I think a lot of the hands that are doing this are, you know, a combo draw, flush draw in a gutter. Something exactly like what Zio has. That's a scare card. Zio can represent this card because he would have had most of the big flush draws that now have got there with an ace. And those hands would not want it to go check, check. It's very hard to make a bluff when you have what could be perceived as a hand that has some equity. But in this case, it seems pretty unlikely, knowing your customer over there, Nick Vertucci, that your six is any good. Can Zio figure this out? Needs to size up. 10,000, 11,000 even. Maybe even overbet. He does overbet. I love this. Wow. And Nick just snap folds. Nick doesn't even think about it. I'm telling you guys, Zio is a freaking monster. Nick, I was kidding. Thank you. All right, yeah. When did you become such a nice guy? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you don't? I'll get by now. You have two daughters, you said, right? Three. Usually sometime after one or more daughters are born. <laughs> That's my experience <laughs> with the tough dudes beforehand. Mm. <laughs> Probably right. 200? 200. 200. Very, very 200. Brother, how you doing? Hope all is well. Good, Barry. Let's turn it up, Barry. Start making some big raises. Is it 100? 100. I call, yeah, 100 is on right now. Very tall. Cool. One of the things that Zio does really well is really think through what many other poker players would think of as easy snap decisions to do something. And he'll take his time in those moments and really give it a little more thought consciously than he maybe otherwise would have. And then he comes to these interesting solutions. Thank you, Nick. 
what percentage of players you think that play 510, let's say, in the Los Angeles area would have made that move right there, that over bet on the river like Zio did? Not very many. In fact, I'll tell you what, until you really play bigger than 510, it's almost never a bluff on the river. I know, there's exceptions, blah, 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 blah. But in general, 510 and down, 50, 50. big raises on the river, almost never a bluff. Almost never a bluff. People just don't bluff rivers. Not until you get in bigger, deeper stack games. Wesley just wants Zio to catch up, hit anything. Check. Show me winner. And this is why you got to bet your hands. See, not that he necessarily would have made any money there. <laughs> Jimmy Bluffett says, especially check raises on rivers. Yes. Especially check raises on rivers. Check raises on rivers until you play in massive games. Almost always have it. And when you, every time you make those hero calls on a big check raise river in your 510 or 55 game, you're gonna regret it. My bad. Oh, is that what it is? Benjamin Gildy asks, hey, Mr. Commentator, how's your night? Nice so far. But you know what? I'm in the mood for some blood. I need more action. I need some all-ins. Then my night will be going better. See, Buddha Poker Life says, I check call everything. Unless I have the nuts, then blast off. That's, exa that's exactly my point. That is exactly my point. A lot of players think like that. They just don't want to get involved in a big pot, even with the second or third nuts. It's unbelievable what some of these people will check back. Brett has a bluff catcher because he beats nothing. He beats nothing, nothing, nothing here. The only thing he beats are like ace highs that turn themselves into a bluff. Little pairs that are turning their hand into a bluff. Hey, Sam. Okay, let's it go. And look at this. Salim is now all in with King Deuce. And if Zio could see the cards, he'd flip it in as fast as he could. 
He's going to make the call, though. He's going to be incredibly delighted to see what Salim has. This is really interesting. Salim was being really patient, and then he shoved with ace deuce off, and now king deuce suited. I guess he's just getting bored. A lot of bad decisions are made when poker players get bored. Suddenly that king deuce suited looks a lot better when you're bored. Well, he hits a deuce. So this actually might end up being a chop. Well, no, there's a queen. So he's in big trouble. Zia scoops. <laughs> his, super, his supercomputer needle got stuck. <laughs> sometimes you feel freaky, oh, sometimes you don't. Oh, 20 Make it three hundo. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Sorry. I thought he was looking at his... Uh, I want right there. Yeah. Check. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. I don't think Barry has many bluffs here at all. I think Barry would have checked back most of his hands. And I think when Barry bets this dry, dry, dry board, the turn is a brick. Nick, just with two overcarts. Remember, he was the initial raiser. Then Barry bet out at him. And the jig is up for Nick. Yeah, Nick just snap folds. Thank you, Barry. Ciao. Ciao is on. Major Mo says, you can't play short in these games. Play big or go home. You know, that is true. These games play really deep. All you online grinders, so used to your 100 big blind stacks. This is not that kind of poker. This is LA deep stack poker. You've got to be at least a few hundred blinds deep minimum or you're just punting Check. Heads up. Check. Barry's in the lead with king high he's going to bet anyways and get a fold Some of it back with you, huh? Uh -huh. Tastes good the second time? It's coming. <laughs> What's it? Uh, Tastes the same? Digestion, digestion issues. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you gotta actually chew it, brother. You can't just. No, I'm trying to rush back, bro. I don't want to. Double R car says if he keeps rebuying for five, you. he might as well just yeah. bought in for 15 to 20. Oh, I see Wesley. That's true, but you know what? I don't think Salim is really here to be making money. He's here to have fun, and he wants to make the money last. A lot of times people will do that. You know? Just keep shoving, rebuy again. Start, you know? And heck, I'm not going to stop him. With you at the table, you're going to say, hey, you should really be buying in deeper. You'll make more money in the game. If he wants to buy in short, let him. I'll fold. Mm. 
900. Raise a 900. And look at this. Wesley has raised. He has the nut flush blocker. So I remember last week, Ryan and I were explaining to Wesley what blockers were. He didn't understand that word. We used it in the commentary. He asked, what's a blocker? What does that mean? And we were explaining to him what blockers mean. Now he's in a hand with the nut flush draw blocker. And he makes a bet. Huh? He applies this information very fast. Check is good. I won't. I'm not going to angle it. Check is good. I didn't. I said time. Okay. I didn't say I had a 10. Oh, yeah. I saw you said 10. No, no. I, I didn't. Just in case you did, that's why I opened my hand. I was going to bet. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Um, no, no. I 12 wins Hearthstone says, you sure you all right with the short stack of the table waiting for Jack Jack Plus? But that's not the situation here, is it? Salim has been all in with Ace Deuce off, King Deuce, some other garbage hand. So yeah, if that guy wants to keep buying in short, you go for it. This isn't old man coffee yeah, yeah. sitting there for five hours waiting oh, for shit, Queens Plus. <laughs> this is a guy who wants to gamble $5,000 at a time. Let him. Thousand? Make it one large. One thousand. Make it uh, 3,800. Make it Wow, look at this. Brett's Spidey sense went off. Sense Nick was getting a little out of line. It's a big four bet with the ace nine suited. And it's going to work. Thank you. Happy you folded. Yeah, I know. She just told me. Oh man, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's gonna be my dad. He probably is. Well, that's why we invited you here. Mm. Yes. So, where's yes, Maury? Yes, where's Maury? We figured we'd let you splash around a little bit and give you the bad news. <laughs> yeah. Bad news? It means I'm rich. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. You got three. Yeah. You got three daughters. It means I'm fucking oh, rich. You funny. got three daughters, bro. <laughs> They're rich. Oh, I guess we're we're splitting it up. <laughs> <laughs> you finally met your real dad. <laughs> yeah. There was, there was an arson oh. fire last night. Yeah. After. A huge insurance claim. Heads up. Three way. Three players. Barry bets out. Nick has a gut shot straight draw to a five. So I imagine he's going to peel at least one card. He is. I'm going to fold. It's a rainbow board, so there's no flush draw here, but Nick could pick one up with a club. But he does pick up a pair. The thing is, Let's locate a bluff that Barry has here. What are they? Can't even really find one. From Nick's perspective, he's blocking the straights. Check. Barry just checks, and Nick is glad to check this back. I see no reason to bet here. Is he going to turn his six into a bluff? Looks like it. This is just going to be an easy call for Barry. The way this was played, King Jack. But Nick did size up, and it is Nick. You see, people get the heebie-jeebies because it's Nick Fertucci. And you heard them talking earlier. He always has it. He always has it. Well, he doesn't have it this time. Your top pair is good. Top pair is everything good. Got there. What do you mean everything got there? 
What got there? Two pair, eight, nine. Two pair got there. Eight, nine got two pair. So he's just seeing monsters under the bed right now. Five, Nothing seven, got there. Nine. Five, seven, ten, seven got there. Diamonds missed. King, queen. The only thing you could have was king, queen. If he had king, queen, you were beat the whole time. Or king, eight. He's right, though. I mean, I, you can see what Barry's thinking. He's thinking that Nick shouldn't have many bluffs here. And the fact of the matter is that Nick is actually turning a weaker hand into a bluff. Wow. Wow. Great hand by Nick. Great hand by Nick. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Not many players turn a pair like that into a bluff. The way that was played. Was I right on any of them? Nope. Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> this Wednesday, by the way, you need to tune in. Norman, Chad, and Mark Goon on the mic. Vince Van Patten playing in the game, along with Worldwide Wob, Jamie Kerstetter. Vince Van Patten playing poker. King 10, King Jack, actually. I just, I almost think I didn't bet 5,000 because I thought maybe I gave you too good of a the value to get yeah, in there. I needed to make it a yeah. little, high, little bigger. Yeah, I was, I mean, it was. It was a bubble. It was on the border. Yeah, right on the line, sir. Yeah. My mistake was gave you, gave you a way to call. 300. 300. Here you go. Is there a uh, list for like, or a line for like eating? No line, just if somebody else has an order in, you put your in after that, we kind of go one at a time. If you're Paul hungry, Zoom says, no rather have Vince on the mic. Her, she'll get someone and get you a menu. I you guess, but without Mike Sexton, it just oh, feels wrong. Hooray. He needs to find a new partner. How exciting. He needs to find a new uh, partner. I don't. I don't think he's done much, any commentating since then. Boy, those two worked well together. That's me. I win. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Um, can I see a menu, please? Thank you. Sure. Second only to Lon McCarran and Norman Chad. Zero, bluff or set of nines? Bluff. Fuck. <laughs> nice one, nice hand. Bluff. Awesome. <laughs> nice bluff. Vince might have been commentating. Damn. I don't know. I don't keep up with the scene. I hope he has been because he was great. It's just hard to picture it without Mike Sexton. What do you like? You know, Nick? just would feel wrong to me. I like the beef and broccoli. The beef galbi is really good. Uh, salmon, shrimp fried rice. Salmon is if you're eating healthy is amazing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shit like that. Fried rice is good. Mm -hmm. One fifty. Hmm. Before you saw the bet size, you made a call for 75. <laughs> I didn't have any of that shit. Bravo! <laughs> Lucky You're the only one that's allowed to up. Master of Null says, What would Sexton say about Dylan's slow roll? Oh man, I would love to see that. He would have been so offended and would have just 
Unbelievable. I mean, I, I, oh man, that would just be the best. He'd get so excited. All right. I'm going to take him to the dance. That's a great thought. Rest in peace, Mike Sexton. Mike Sexton. You dance. How much is it? $4.50. Gangsters don't dance. We boogie. All right. See it? What? What? What happened? How much, baby? What's the bet, Dylan? Four fifty. I call. And so Zio really showing us the value of these suited aces and how you can just take control of a hand. He's been pretty consistent with the way he plays these. Check. And so the way this was played, Zio has a calling hand at best, but the problem is that there's two players behind him. You have to ask yourself as Zio, would they have checked if they had a big hand here? And if they do have a medium strength hand, nice call by Zio. Good call, ding dong, Barry says. Good call, young man. Young man. Thank you. You're sitting at a table. <laughs> you see a guy like Zio who's making this call. If I didn't do it. Making those other plays. What do you do? You just say, okay. Not playing with that guy. Breakfast burrito, twice. Oh, he had it twice. Was it good? He had it twice. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah. He had it again when he was walking, up, walking back up. <laughs> Steve says, no one could touch Sexton's passion for the game and old school knowledge. That's the truth. That's what it really was about. The way he would get so excited and the old school knowledge of these situations, man. Sometimes Vince wouldn't add much more than just laughing at his buddy Mike. It made for some great entertainment. Okay, but back to the poker. RB has top flush draw, the net flush draw, and a pair. So he is going absolutely nowhere in this hand. All three players have a four. That is the case four. The case four. Everyone's thinking, oh, it'd be nice if I hit a four, but that's not possible. You have bottom pair like that. You know you need some help. Everyone's pretty sure their four is no good. Salim is going to bet. He's going to bet for about a third of his stack. That's 1300 gives RB incredible pot odds. So why not come along for the ride? I fold. Brett folds. And now Salim needs to find a queen and a queen only. That's not a heart. That will not do. But if he makes a big bet here, he might get a fold from RB. Are you going to turn your four into a bluff? He does. He does. And look at that. How the hell did I miss this? The thing is, you're actually good. I had a pair and a flush row. And the thing is, four of hearts. look at the price that he's getting right here, okay? How did it's 2500 
There's 8,500 in the pot. <laughs> Shy, that's what I figured. So he's getting three Ripping and a half to one. King with the heart, huh? Doesn't have to be right here all that often. This guy has shown a propensity to do insane stuff. Six doesn't scare you? Only has to be right here about one in four times have six for this to be a profitable call. I think you're right here one in four times. I mean, this is clearly one of the four. Mike gives the money. Nice call. Four? four? Yeah. That is very surprising to RB. Call RB. Dang it. How do we both have a four? <laughs> 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 You want a flush off? I'll I'll you do flush off. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Dirty Deed says Salim is talking him into a call. I think you're right. Thank you. I think you're right. I think Salim's table talk went wrong there. Because if he had just shut up, I think RB might have folded. But he let RB get to the call. If you're not sure what to do with table tuck, just STFU. Don't say anything. There's a queen for Barry. When is Barry's run good going to end? Let's give the other players a chance. Just out flopping everyone in every game he plays. He's also playing pretty well. But it helps when you're hitting top pair consistently. That's what I need to learn how to do. Gives Barry two pair. And clubs are incredibly unlikely given the way this went. And RB's just going to snap it off. So you know you could have got more as Barry. Uh, yeah. Nice man. Nice river. Thank you, sir. Chris Kamen says he could have got a bit more. Lost a little value. Yeah, he did. I mean, you know when your opponent calls your river bet in less than two seconds that you missed value. 100%. They didn't even have to think about it. I ain't doing nothing else. Barry with his, I ain't doing nothing else. Look, he has Jack Deuce offsuit. How about top set for RB? Wesley has a pair and a flush draw. That, that we're going to see fireworks here. We are going to see some fireworks. Wesley's not going to play this slow. He's shown that today he's into raising. It's just totally different gear. He's experimenting with raising today. 
So Wesley raises it up. RB has the absolute nuts right now. An unbeatable hand. He's going to continue. He wants to see a red card that's high. That's it. Queen of diamonds. So he still has a relatively unbeatable hand. It's no longer the nuts, but it's the effective nuts because there's no way that Wesley has queens here. And I guess it's possible. He's going to give Wesley a pretty good price. And Wesley's going to raise again. Wesley's going to raise again. So this pot has gone check, bet, raise, check, bet, raise. Wesley has now check raised him twice. Start to wonder as RB, what does he have? What does he have? It's gotta be clubs, right? I'm all in. He's all in. And now you're gonna make Wesley make a really tough call. This is a great move by RB. This is a great move by RB. So how much more? Because if a club doesn't bank on the river, Wesley can shut it down. So now he's gonna make Wesley make a bad call. Objectively, this is a terrible call. Wesley is 18% to win the hand. He's getting a little better than two to one. So RB is denying him the pot odds that he needs to make this call. This is a great bet. Nice recognition of exactly what was going on. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Six. Fifteen, eight. So I need... Uh, Ten, eight on top of. Ten, eight. Ten, eight. A lot of players in mid-stakes hold'em games would have slow played there and allowed their opponent to get away. And you know what? I don't even mind anything about this. RB can't even think of it as lost value because he made Wesley have to make a bad decision or fold. Those are Wesley's two options. He could either make a bad call or fold. When you make your opponent have to make bad decisions, good things happen to you. Nice hand, RB. What else could be, you know? <laughs> Salim now with ducks. It's my turn to make a big move. That's what Salim's thinking. Let's raise it up. Let's go. Makes it 150. Okay, Zio knows what to do with Ace King. So I think if I'm one of these guys, and I can choose my spot, and I'm thinking, all right, I should be folding about 50% of my 9-8 suited here, or, or whatever. This would be one of the ones where I would not play. Zio is the three better. Pick me. He hates to slow down. It's a very interesting flop here. The deuces are technically ahead right now. Check. Check. But it just checks around. The heart gives Barry a heart draw. The twos are still the best made hand here. Barry hits an eight. He's just going to bet out. It's really hard to get paid here as Barry. B 
because this is probably exactly what a queen would have done. Let, let's say that you're buried and you hit a queen on the flop here, right? You're just going to check it around. You're going to hope someone bets so that you can do something, right? Then the turn comes. You still have your queen. You're, you're probably going to check again, right? Hope that someone bets. And then you would just wake up on the river. So a lot of times when you wake up on the river like this, it actually ends up looking stronger than if you would have just bet out before. You can go to your boyfriend. It's hard to get called there by a worse hand. We have two suited spades hands. Oh, wow. Look at this. Top pair for RB, two pair for Wesley. All right. RB is going to pot control here. It's a fairly dynamic board. So RB is losing the minimum here so far. Oh, that counterfeits Wes's hand. That's a disastrous card for Wes. Are you going to turn your hand into a bluff? Why? Yeah, just check. Nice check. Nice check. So if, if you guys remember about a week and a half ago, uh, two weeks ago, I guess two and a half weeks ago, Wesley was involved in a hand very similar to that. And he was actually confused about the hand. He didn't understand the scoring of the hand because he had three pair and the other guy only had two. We had to explain him, no, no, no. <laughs> only the top five cards play. And that's where he was just a couple weeks ago. But he's been learning a lot fast. He texts and talks to Ryan Feldman all the time, all throughout the day about different hands, the rules, this and that. It's just crazy to be learning in such big games. I'm calling it right now. Wes is going to be a top bro in about a year. Me and my friend. Hey, friend. Take your time. 100. 100. 100. You're going lower, huh? 100. Yeah, I went lower this time. I don't know what that means. Bink for RB. Okay. 1,100. 1,100. Damn, man. No reason to raise here. The RB should keep all, all of Brett's bluffs having alive. Fun. <laughs> Brett says he's just having fun, and he is. What do you need? He doesn't even have backdoor equity here. I didn't look yet. He has nine high. 1,700. He's going to... Oh. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Nice 1,700. Before he can even finish putting the chips in. I have nothing. It's a fun table. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Thank you. I'll be right back. Do I need to uh, do anything? Uh, sure. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. If so, I need to do it. Jimmy, why don't you refresh your page? Is this struggle? Yeah. But Jimmy's point still... 250? Proves to be correct. Jimmy says 2,000 viewers and 140 likes. WTF. Yeah, that's because there's nearly 6,000 viewers and 577 likes. 
but we would appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us. We got three more hours of 2550. You're, you're the best. Best the way she does Three players. Brought to you tonight by Max Bet TV. You can go check us out right now. By the way, this game is streaming on YouTube and also on Max Bet TV right now. Heads up. Check. RB would love to see a free card here. 700. Seven. Wesley says no. Lakers One Nation says, Raver Poker, why is West being presented as this future great player? Sometimes your predictions are wild. It's only crazy until you see it happen. And the reason is because I've talked with Wesley and he's just incredibly bright. It, it, he's incredibly bright. And I don't say that lightly. And if he chooses to apply himself into poker the way he has been and continues on this path, you can just tell. I've been around enough poker players to know this guy could make it. And the fact that he can play at these stakes and not even sweat it says a lot about his potential. And look at that. Our seat nine player has finally arrived. Two hours late, no problem. What's going on, boss? Taha, nice What's up, to meet new you. guy? <laughs> Taha. Nice to meet you too, Taha. Yes. Yeah, Hunter S says, West still has a long way to go. That is true. He is early on in the poker journey. Two hundred fifty. Three fifty. I thought it was two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. Oh, I ain't doing nothing else. Heads up, then. I want to see Barry say, "I ain't doing nothing else." When he has aces or kings, he needs to balance that range, because when he says that, it really just means what he says. I have shitty cards. I'm not doing nothing else, so I guess I call. So any 10 just got there. Wesley has a king, but can't love the card. Six. 600. She's going to bet 600, though. There he shows the queen. Wesley shows the king. I had a friend ask me once, recently, what does it mean when the poker players knock the table like that? I was like, I don't know. I guess it kind of means, like, good shit. Like, good shit, bro. Right? Isn't that what it means? It's hard to find the exact verbiage for it, but we all know what it means. It's a polite, cool thing to do. You knock on the table say, all right, word. Because she will knock him over, trust me. Two fifty. Two fifty. 
Yes, that's correct. Right. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying nice hand, good game. And then Dino Steak says it can totally mean F off. That's true. You can, <laughs> you can do a sarcastic pound on the table. How about that one? We've all seen that. Roll your eyes and knock the table. Wesley raised it up with a nine and binks another nine. Wow. And from Taha's perspective, Wesley shouldn't have many nines here. That doesn't make sense at all. Isn't that interesting when you raise on a flop as a bluff, essentially? And then you just bink. You have to keep on firing, obviously. <laughs> And as Taha here, are you just calling to hit? They say no risk, no Rory, huh? Is he going to go all in? He's giving away <laughs> a lot about his hand. I think he said no risk, no Rory, but a little bit different. Hmm. I think he mixed them together. He makes both of them. He said no risk, no Rory. Yeah. <laughs> it's even better. And look at Wesley looking pained. Oh, Wesley. But looking, actively looking uninterested. Because he has a monster. How much do you have left? How much do you have left? So Don't. I called like probably like 2,500 or something. No, let him bet, Wesley. 7,000. Give him a chance to bet there, Wesley. Flush. Flash yo? Huh? Yeah, flash yo? Yeah, you too? Thank you, Wesley. Wesley, he always has it. It's really hard for most people that flush up. Simon's in stays up. That's a good start, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I folded an ace to you, Wesley. 100 shuttle. This is kind of a lesson in why chasing draws when you're short stacked, you're not getting the implied odds if you hit your hand to continue. Salim's in there with King-7 offsuit. Salim's here to have fun. I like Salim. Salim's in good action. Not afraid to get it in. Check. Check. Wesley has a gutter here. He might think he's bluffing. Easy money. But he really has the best hand already. Just like Bitcoin. Easy money. Not easy. Ryan Beck says, Salim's so short stacked. He's playing tournament poker on the bubble. Man, I love being aggressive on the bubble. People just wuss out. All 
right, what is Salim going to do here? I think he might do some big overbet raise for too much of his stack. What do you think? Six. He does. He bet 600. Salim just made it 600. He's bet close to a quarter of his stack on Ace Jack suited. Wesley makes a wise fold. So now the pot is 1,500, and Salim only has 2,300. Thank you. All right. Salim's going to get a little healthier. Got a little construction site over there. Do you just put it in as Salim here? What's the point of betting? Then you're going to have less than pot remaining. And he just makes a micro bet. Just makes a micro bet. Giving RB better than 6 to 1 on a call. So RB is actually getting the right odds here to make this call. And now he hits a queen. Salim has exactly as much in his stack as he does in the pot. So maybe he actually lined this up. If so, great job. They're about 100 less than what's in the middle. He just bet 600. I love this guy. He's just extracting value out of RB. The problem is his bets are so small that he's actually almost giving the right odds for RB to call. Here, there's only one button, Salim. It's the all-in button. Just do it. Push it in. Does the watch play? Can you bet the watch? There he goes. He's all in. And RB's thinking, how did I get here? What, what, what am I even I doing? You flopped the monster. I should just fold it on it. Yeah. The way you're betting, I flopped it. And the thing is, RB is actually getting really good price here. He's getting better than three to one. I got myself stuck in this. Only has to be right a little more than one in four times. Fourteen seventy-five. Fourteen seventy-five total. Why did I get the feeling you fucking? Balls in the air. You flopped the. You have aces. I don't think this guy's turning two spades into a bluff here. Sick. I don't think so. I mean, there's so much money that I can't fold now, but yeah. I got myself stuck. You yeah, you got yourself nice stuck. Yeah, it feels like we're chopping. I mean, I don't know. No. no. 1475? Yeah, I made 23. You gave me 15, 25 is yours? Thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of outs. I mean, that $300 bet. Right, so, hey, Salim gets the full double up. guys ready for that dance party? So that's all. That's the only number I feel. No, I think I give you like three. Max Bet TV. I'm in for 20. That's all I know. No, let's not count that. If you're interested <laughs> in poker, slot machines, table really games, bingo, everyday lottery. lottery. So we're even. I give you what I always right? Max Bet TV. Happy to, happy to play. Free to... Uh, all viewers. People, <laughs> always free. Smart TVs, tablets, computers, smartphones. MaxBetTV.com. I gotta learn from the you back to the action. This is for That's the damn You gotta make the fold. Three or four. Yeah. Keep four calling one. everything. Nah, I hear you. Actually, I was hoping you folded the other one. Seven. Yeah. The four. <laughs> yeah. Two twenty-five. He said I got a four. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Check you, Nick. Actually, he. <laughs> 
Check. Usually when they say, I'm, I can't believe I missed all this, it's an instant muck. But it's like Check. a huge Check combo draw room. that missed. Right. Check the room. Check the room. I'll be your paper collection. I paid double? Two seven. Two seven. I don't need that either. I already took it out there. I thought Barry was supposed to pay me then. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, who, changed, who changed the deck? Yeah, Wesley. Raising 1200. Make sure I got the hand I thought I had. Oh. Oh, I'm going to echo. Oh. Head up. I'm not so sure I said. Mm -hmm. Is that anything Oh, nice check back by Wesley. Nice check back by Wesley. You don't need to bluff every time. That's a hard board to bluff on. And there's two pair on the board like that. Hey, your name is Dio, right? Yeah. You know, I love you, right? <laughs> nice, I appreciate that. Yeah. That was very nice of you, man. It's cool. Yeah. Commentary by me. There I am wearing my Ocean's Eleven hat. <laughs> Shout out to all the Ocean's Eleven people. How can you love Zio? I know there's some of you out there in chat world. This is true. I miss you guys. He had that tequila once, he drank it. And then he had like a very bitter face, and I just cracked laughing. Me and my fiance over there. Just That's just his really face, bro. He's bitter. <laughs> his face is bitter. Anyway. I can't handle all That's his ball, natural bro. look. Yeah, he's bitter anyway, bro. It's just the way he is. He's a bitter little man. Zio, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a fan. <laughs> I'm sure he's got more than one. No, I think that's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> only fan. <laughs> only fan. <laughs> your name is Taos? T A Tao? How do you say your name? Taha. 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to mess it up. Right. 75. I don't know Taha. Taha could be a good guy, but I don't know why, but the energy he gives off, I just want someone to get all of his chips. Something about it. Something. I don't know what. Uh, live yet. Oh, yeah. I usually play at house games. The home game? Yeah. Yeah. The house always wins something. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, that's why there's so many of them. Good to go. Unless you have a very large entertainment budget and you had lots and lots of fun. 150. Otherwise, yeah. Nick, do you have any fans? Fans? Only fans. <laughs> you have a bunch of haters, huh? <laughs> all, all haters and only fans. Only fans. Nick is, Nick's only fans is dyslexic. It's called mm. fans only. <laughs> it's not like a it's not like a pink card from Nick Flash. <laughs> I do a naked bow flex on Wednesday. Oh <laughs> my god. It's a, pay, it's a pay site. So that's how you make your money. Yeah, it's a pay site. All right. Exactly. You wouldn't believe how many subscribers he has. It's crazy. <laughs> he's bow flexing those kind of things in it. Patrick a says, I think he's a fan of Zio, his <laughs> only fan. <laughs> not to be confused with only fans. His only fan. Different thing. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Oh, Floorgasming says, Nelson. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, that is actually, that is what he says, huh? What you doing, Tito? I know that was the worst oh, Nelson ever, you. I know. What you doing? You're welcome. <clears throat> that is kind of what he says, books? right? To check out your card? <laughs> no, it is just haha. -ha. that for free. <laughs> if you didn't know. Uh, this is for the tip for the servers. Yeah. I'll do that. If you don't mind, guys. Yes, sir. Everybody? Yeah. How much is it to me? Yeah, well, 15. No. Oh, okay, cool. Tita! Uh, 
Tito, this is from me. And this is for everybody else. And this is from everyone else. <laughs> Can we get change, please, for that? <laughs> Raise it, 200. Can you give my portion for that? <laughs> 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 I'm just making, I'm making trying me to look blend good. In for the well, here we go. <laughs> Taha with the best hand in poker, pocket aces. Let's go, little guy. Let me get 800. 800. Do we have the cards right? Brett you get 800 or you want to is raising it? it up with 10 <laughs> 4 offsuit. Uh, let's make it 1600. It's not you. It's not your trick. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. You good. You good. You good. You save, you okay, save. but he you saved Zio money. That was a big mistake by Taha. You see, he acted out of turn and he let Zio get out of the hand. Always wait. What do you have? Yeah, I'll show you what I have. Oh, Seems okay. really excited when we're full. Oh, nice hand. Yeah, you got it. That's good. Reese's? Yeah. No, that's a surprise, though. <laughs> really excited. Yeah, he does. That. <laughs> that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, was, we it, all was, do that. it was only 800, Aces. but I was like, ah, I don't think this is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Nice hand. Right. Thanks, man. Aces is a lot of guarantee wins. Oh, yeah, trust me. I, with this guy, I lost yeah. most of my money playing with Aces. Yeah, of course. Uh, nice trust hand. me. Because you can't fold. <laughs> That's why I learned to race before the pre-flop. You can't fold? Zia was calling that three bet. Kid K420. I agree with you. Because Zio wants to isolate certain players. 100%. And that's... I love Zio. Come on, my one pick. The interesting thing about the way that Zio approaches the game is he is able to find exploits in various players very quickly. He picks up on these things and then just acts on it. Doesn't care that he's wrong sometimes. Check. But he'll make seemingly insane plays. Plays that, when you look at in a vacuum, just make no sense. In that case, calling with sixes wouldn't have made much sense, but... He wants to play a big pot against that guy. Four hundo dollars. I still think I have the best one. You know those pocket sixes are haunting me, Nicholas. Oh shit! I should have lied to you, made you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Lakers Nation says Zio has not exploited anything yet. Well, maybe you just joined us. But early on in the show, Zio played a couple of pretty amazing pots where he found some rather insane raises on the river. And absolutely exploited his opponents. Sure, let me look at him first. Oh man, I wish I had those. No, that's you. Really? I've, I've seen your footage, Nicholas. I mean, brother Wesley. <laughs> Raise it up, 300. I've seen you killing the game. Thank you. Good job. Are well, you playing Friday too? Uh, no, I don't like. Um, go ahead. I might. I mean, I played it. Okay. Oh. I ain't doing nothing else. Here it is. I might. Three ways, Remember, three ways. Check. Set. One large. One thousand. Fold. Fold. <clears throat> we believe you, sir. Nice. I have jack three. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that one would have hurt his feelings. That would have been painful. <laughs> <laughs> RB straddle. Am I the only one straddling? Very straddling too. Oh. So no. Why are we doing two? Wesley, Wesley, you're not straddling. He does when he remembers. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't even know. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Whenever he remembers, you know Wesley ain't scared of no money. Wesley is not afraid. Let's find another 200k. Let's find another. We can cover Barry. 
Wesley's rich. I ain't doing nothing else, you know? Barry, I ain't doing nothing else. So if you're in the game with Barry, and you hear him say that, you can incredibly accurately oh, oh, shit. <sighs> range his hand. All right. You can take many hands out of the equation. Let's see what happens. Big pairs. He's not saying that with I big check. pairs. First player chicken in the dark. Big Broadway cards. Not saying that with big Broadway cards. He's saying it with check. this. Ace deuce offsuit. Salim has a big flush draw. <laughs> Wesley has a gutter to a non diamond five. Barry's actually in the lead with his deuce. Can I say river? What do you need, Wesley? River. Thank you. Fuck. Different river? <laughs> that one. Wow. That's what he needed. <laughs> <laughs> I only got five. No problem, yeah. I have a three. But, 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 yeah, but it's too expensive. Yeah, yeah too much. Because the odds is too less. I only have four. <laughs> four cars. Straddle is on. That's perfect timing, by the way. Check. Check. Come on, new guy. It's on you, baby. 150. You are the champ. And Taha just keeps having the best hand and betting. Not really, but I will be one day. Salim. Just like you, Barry. Doesn't know the actions on him, I like to think. I, I don't know what he's thinking about right now with 6'4. Oh, oh, okay, he did not know it was on him. What planet were you A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you Sorry, guys. A whole nother I was definitely still bro. thinking about the last day. If you wanted to like, like, take a break. Poor guy was all nervous. I know. Like, is yeah. it going to raise? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was like, dude, this is a great <laughs> poker face right now. Wow, Tharabi says, please stop talking crap. The way Wesley shuffles chips proves he's been playing for years. I mean, I can teach someone to shuffle chips in a day. It doesn't take years to learn to shuffle chips. 50 to go. 6 years perhaps when you learn it, Bump it up. kind of casually through playing poker but Wesley just learned to shuffle chips because he wanted to learn to shuffle chips took him a day I asked him I'm doing something else first make it a thousand and then he's just been practicing it you know when you're into it when you first learn how that's where he is this is a dangerous spot for Barry okay this could be a huge pot because these players are very deep so here's a tell when your opponent starts humming the rocky music it means they need help you go from a thousand to five hundred they start humming the rocky montage music uh, that's just screaming get your ass in there barry it means they need help they're behind yeah, they need yeah. to hit things down bet. I knew you didn't have okay. shit. Nice hand, little bro. Really good, this one. Jack trade, 50-50. Huh? Jack trade? Yeah. And then 50 more for that. 
You know what I remember doing about 15 some odd years ago? After I finished playing a game at the casino, I took, you know, a 20 stack of chips home, sat in front of the TV, and said, I'm going to learn to shuffle these chips. I just kept doing it until I figured it out. Now I do, I don't even think about it. I thought you watched it yet. Not I did. I mean, I love, you're watching it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Five the last quarter was good, yeah. They always do that every year, though. I like the new structure, too. Yeah, because they actually, cards. like, care. More yeah. competitive. Yeah. Thank you. Card, please. How about that? I don't really count this, bro. Horrible. That was yeah. fucking embarrassing. Yeah, it was, hard it was embarrassing for an NFL. I, I mean, I'm bad about it. Everyone kept I could literally do. They kept missing it, man. For like, yeah, they missed it so many times. Yeah, no, really. They kept trying to like, do those crazy dunks. But they never practiced. <laughs> they kept missing this shit. So this is interesting because Wesley has top pair and Salim has two pair. I definitely could. Salim has top and bottom pair here and Taha with the nut flush draw. We're going to see some fireworks. We are going to see some fireworks. He goes all in. What a massive over bet. Oh my gosh. Salim, you didn't have to raise so much. Does Taha want to gamble? This is a terrible call. Optimal age. Terrible. You, you, you're not getting the right price here. It just sucks, but you have to let go of your nut flush draw. Sure, you have outs against everything. A little bit more. But you can calculate your odds right now. Let's assume that your only outs are a spade. Six. Ah, neck, neck, neck. I don't know about this, man. <laughs> You're not getting the right price. Getting about 30%. Glad you didn't see the hands I've already shown down. Yeah, yeah, very thank you. Thank you. Why does he get all the credit? I don't get it. He's our agent. Let me see how much you're Joking, man. Barry, Barry. If it wasn't for Barry, bro, no one would have picked him. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about this. Barking Bat 29 says, Who cares if you miss? Call for the rush. How much is it? Actually, it's over here. One of the more D Jenny things I've seen in chat in a while. It just feels good. <laughs> Call for the rush, Taha. Let's go. And all of them was like pretty sick. It was like almost half court and like. He should have been air and they turn around. Yeah, he just bucked. Like, yeah. No, because your hand was hurt. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. He's good for the game. Barry? Oh, he's in the hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Action is over here right now. And Wesley's going to get off cheap. Thank you, dude. Not that he would have called, but... The thing about Taha's hand is he knows he has outs against everything. He only lets it go. Yeah, yeah, he just... You have ace, ten of spade? Maybe, maybe. If you have a ace check, call. Oh, Wesley oh my calls. God. How many times? He's oh, one my gosh. One time for the Wesley plus. calls. What are you doing, no Wes? Oh. Do you have an ace? Mm -hmm. And Taha is going to be know, pissed I, off I if a spade Wesley. comes. Oh, yeah, no spade there. He just wants to not see a spade. Oh, no. He hit the nuts. You had a flush draw? I had a flush draw. That's why I'm counting my day. Kind of a good outcome. 6,825. Uh, 8-5. 8-25. 8-5, yeah, 8-5. 3-4-5, yeah, I would've got the flush. <laughs> yeah, you have the nut flush, though. Yeah, I mean, I know, but that was a turn in the river. But I don't have, yeah, yeah, I did. You guys called 3x spot with just the flush draw. I would've tripled up right now. I would've been at least... It was a good fold, Taha. Of course you would. It was a good fold. It was the right fold. You can't be results-oriented. I'm not calling. You can't put me all in. I'm already all in. I'm already all in. You're going to watch the live later. Gamble. gamble. Like, Thank God this guy didn't call me. I believe you. You call Wesley. If you call, 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 I will I will call. Yeah, you free yeah. call. If you don't call, I will call. Yeah. Yeah. I have a chance. Yeah. So I kind of messed you up. Or did you win? Oh, no. No, no, no. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mind is not on the table right now. Uh, I'm just... 
I'm not in my own depression. Don't it's worry, bro. Right. Don't yeah, worry. Don't that in there a little bit, Wesley. You, you're not going to offend anyone. You God. can't do it wrong. <laughs> Everyone makes folds. It's your money, married. man. If you want to gamble, gamble. If not, don't listen to these donkeys. No one knows what they're saying here. No. Barry would have called, of course. All right, snap call. No shit, you snap call. No, no, not his. Yeah, but you don't. Um, but you don't leave. Six thousand. Well, that's the difference, huh? Yeah, I would have called with your hands. Yeah, but you, yeah, he yeah. didn't call you. Yeah, because can we have? Because I would have put him on the plus draw. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's no way to like call in. I snap call it both hands. So what's his name? <laughs> Our man in chat who says, "Who cares if you're behind? Just call for the rush." Well, he would have made his money. Ten thousand, no. Kind of shoot it into your veins. No one home. Sometimes making the bad call, the wrong call, at the right time. That's poker, baby. It's always a flush star when they ship it all in on the pot, on the flop, right? Pepsi Summer says, if the spade didn't come, you would think it was a good fold. The spade came, now you think he should have called. Exactly. We can't be results oriented. At the time when he made, when he would have made that call, he would not have been getting the correct odds to be making a good call there. That call over time, he would have lost money. Over time, he would have lost money. Sure, this time he hit. But he made a good fold. It's fun, yeah. Everyone is drunk, you know, like... Not me, funny. not anymore. <laughs> I was drunk last week. I was, I was an ass on the show. Bolt. Surfing Sickness oh, says, nothing good. feels as good as getting it in behind and getting there. That's true. That's just a fact. Yeah, maybe I should just... I hit a two-outer on a guy last time I played poker. You're a genius. I hit a two-outer. You know what I mean? Too much or if the queen comes, you're a genius. Like, Thank you, nobody knows. That's what I should have said. I mean, that, that was a sign right there. Yeah. If you fold it that hand, it means... Yeah, that was a good one. People can see the cards. That's why everybody knows everything. Yeah, exactly. It's so much easier when you see, when you see yeah. all the cards. And, yeah, for sure. A lot of, key, a lot of keyboard warriors. Trigger finger turn to Twitter finger. Yeah. Now, oh man, they'll be talking a lot of shit now about that hand. <laughs> but Five it's not their money, you know? It's easier to, when it's someone else's money, just going all in with. Yeah. Sorry, I keep bumping you. I'm sorry, man. Heads up. Nick bets out, and Wesley hates to fold. Wesley does not like to fold. He wants to play poker. He's not here to fold. He wants to play. So Wes continues. And so if Wes was already behind, he's now impossibly behind. That 10 means that all of Wes's outs would be dead if Nick does have that card. And so... This should just end the hand. Remember earlier, Wes, when we were talking about good spots to find fold equity? This is not one of them. He's going to continue. So he's planning some shenanigans. He's going to need to... Actually, there's nothing he can do. There's nothing Wes can do here. At least you'll be able to save face because Nick's going to raise you. You're going to bet, and Nick's going to raise you. And you're going to realize that you shouldn't go that far downstream without a paddle. Wesley is showing up to this NASCAR race on a bicycle. Nick, you got a raise here. Hmm. 
No, you can't raise. I guess you can't raise. The more closely you look at it, then that's what he's pissed about. He's like, shit, I just have to call this. How annoying is that? 2500. 2500. That's like the worst part of the deck. I mean, that really You're not thinking of folding. Things. And it brings in a flush. Like, uh -oh. wow. You know what I mean, West, West Side? No, I don't know. I mean, you know when I give the speech, you're getting paid, right? Does that make you happy? You never know, you never know. Does that make your bit... Yeah. What? Does that make your Bitcoin tingle? Mmm. Mmm. At least it's funny, you know? Yeah, it's funny. It's going to cost me another 25 hundo. Honda Civic. 1997 Honda Civic. It's just the worst card ever. I just, I just don't know how I can. Wow, he wants to show me bad, too. All right, fuck okay, it. Here, give that to Wesley. Give it to him. Nice no. Wesley. No, no. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, he's shy. Oh. I meant it, too. I wasn't oh, playing games. Oh, with I'm going to give this to you, but you get this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Wesley. I just really... No, it's fine. Uh, I, have to, I have to bet. Yeah, you, you have to bet. You I have to me. bet, yeah. Wait. What? Yeah, but yeah. No. Yeah, you won. Nick, you won, right? Yeah. 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 I, stuck the, I stuck the landing, bro. If this was the Olympics, it'd be three. You just hold it up ten. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm no, losing poker funny. forever. I'm oh losing, God, I'm losing in this game. Yeah. Yeah. But I have to bet. I have to bet. Yeah. I, I was thinking about bowling. Yeah. No, Wesley thinks it's him. That was cool. Maybe I should, I should bet more. If I don't have a 10, it's yours. No, I, should, I have to bet more. I, should, I should bet yeah, more. Thank like. God you did. Not a no, more he, he talks for another five minutes and then yeah, he maybe longer long speech. <laughs> we got more, we only waste another ten minutes. Will, yeah, the speech will get longer. Oh, it's me? No, you won't. Yeah. Oh my god, they missed all that? They missed the speech. Aww. Oh, Wesley. they heard anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. No, I, I actually thought... the peace speech. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so A4S. What? That was pretty good. Cool. Reckon oh, yeah. one, 11H yeah. says Nick roll. Right. I wasn't caring about that. Mm. I just didn't... You got Nick roll. <laughs> I like that. One coffee? Wow. Scare me. Yeah, like unless you bet like oh. 10,000, then maybe Wesley there's a slim chance he might fold. It was the perfect card, though. Right? <laughs> he yeah, was, yeah, yeah, I have to bet. He brings in everything. Hearts, straight, back door. Nick's I have to tone bet. is my favorite part yeah. of all this. What? And no one is picking up. <laughs> the tone? Yeah. <laughs> And one thing I like about that, Very you know, so Nick, after that hand was over, and Wes showed his hand. And you know what? Wes showed that he was embarrassed. Wes was embarrassed. And a lot of times newer players will be kind of embarrassed that they, they had a bluff there and they got caught. And Nick has played in a lot of these home games and a lot of games where he understands how to keep people happy. And he says, hey, it's all right. You got to bet there. You got to bet there. And whether or not that's true. Problematic. You still say it because you want them to keep playing. You want them to keep having fun. 10 jack? 400. King, king 10. 400. 1,000? Make it 1,000. That was funny, man. His reaction was the funniest. <laughs> Salim like, here. Hold on, hold on. You won. <laughs> is 80% to win this pot, but there's no way he can know that. There's no way. He said, you never know. Oh, I didn't, yeah. But honestly, you know he doesn't know. Yeah, right, right, right. It is no matter, like, and if you say something, he's going to feel bad. Yeah, right, so it's like I let it go, you know what I mean? Right. Only let it go, it doesn't matter to me. I just, I know maybe Wes would not like it, you know? Matthew A says, you want them to keep hunting. His age pure is. Yeah, you can say That's right. That's exactly right. It's one of the biggest mistakes that you see he was more excited shit for regs you. make at a table. Some yeah, guy makes some dumb play and gets rewarded, and he says, You no. idiot! Why are you raising with that? You idiot! What's wrong with you? You blah, blah, blah. And Dude, don't scare him away. Say, Nice hand! All right! Oh, that was funny! <laughs> You know, these people that act like that just have no idea what they're doing. Very jealous. They no think they do, and that's the worst part. <laughs> You're jealous. You don't have if a you true don't like fan. zeal, it's you. You don't have a true fan, bro. You don't like I promise, if you don't like zeal, it's you. 
three way. Zeal's one of those guys. Uh, we'll see what I got here. Zakariam10 says, be proud to show a bluff. Darn right. There's nothing embarrassing about showing a bluff. People get over that. I mean, watch Garrett and those guys play in the big game. They don't care. Fine, sure, yeah, I was bluffing. It doesn't matter what my cards were. What, you think mucking them kind of saves face? No. Mucking them might make think people think your hand's even worse. Magic, I'm ready for my rush. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Give him a good hand, Magic, so Sorry. I can clip his wings. <laughs> Circumcise him right here at the table. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time, Barry. <laughs> Those soft hands I see over there. Yeah. yeah, but it sounds a little stingy in the end. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely he's, I think he's got some antiseptic. <laughs> I, call, I ain't doing nothing though. I'm just saying, he looks like he's handled the dick before. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what do you call it? What do you say, Nick? What's too, that? Too what? Funny, funny, too far? <laughs> that uh, I'm right just there. teasing. All right. Three ways. Okay. Okay. Three cards. Everyone check. that out. Wesley called very quickly. And so that should signal that there's a chance here Nick can bet big and win this pot. He'd have to bet big though. Does he understand that? I think so. I think you, this is an over bet spot 100% because what worse hand could you show up with? Five high. It's got to be, this is the absolute worst hand he could possibly have here. 2400. 2400. So he's going to, I mean, Wes can make this call. I don't see Wes folding top pair here. Maybe if he mind games himself into thinking that Nick has to have blah, 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 blah. But this is one of those times where you just wince and call and say, I'm going to lose some of the time, but I'm going to win enough of the time that I have to make this call. But he lets it go. Wow. No, 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 no
Fuck, sorry, dude. I, I, I thought oh, I yeah. got nothing. No it's angle. Up. Put your money in. I thought you were folding. It's okay. Oh, I started moving my hand. Head up. Okay. And now Nick with the ducks. Has to think that he's way behind. He's actually way ahead. 75% chance to win this pot. RB only has a gutter and overcards. Seems impossible to be ahead when you have a little pair on this kind of board where everything's connected. But this is one of those times. So this is one of those spots, I think, where Nick thinks he's bluffing. Never mind. When actually it. it would have been for value, yeah. It's coming around the bend. You have to have a better kicker. Mm. Oh, 10, 10. Yeah. I almost did it, though. Hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Good day, hard to call with the 10. Kid K420 says, image awareness is a very important thing. Boy, is that the truth. Oh, yeah. Take a look at the cumulative winnings brought to you by MaxBet TV. Remember to go check them out, maxbettv.com. Check out HSPN. High Stakes Poker Network. We're going places. It's going to be interesting. We'll see. I mean, it's the start of a new journey. Hustler Casino Live has a second home where they'll be streaming all the time. We have some special things that are coming to that. It's going to be a ride. Remember now, Wesley, I never said I had a king. I like the king. Yeah, so you have a straight... I didn't say that either, but I, but I didn't say it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you should... I told you to pick I like you, because I don't know if you understand. I know you are. You can beat me, so yeah, I'm not going to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> no pay. No pay. No pay. No pay. No pay. 50 more. 50 to go. He's big one. He's going to put it on. Uh, 150? 150. So this is interesting. Wesley has been raising to 200, 250. 600. And now when he gets a hand like this, just 150. Oh my gosh. Zia with kings. This is the spot that Zia's been waiting for all night. Zia's just been playing consistent, good poker and waiting for this moment. Get out of here, Wesley. Look who raised. See, this is understanding who people are at the table, okay? There's one real pro at this table, and that is Zio, okay? Nice fold, Wesley. Nice fold. I don't see RB getting away from this. Great fold, Wesley. That is not a fold Wesley would have been making a couple weeks ago. All right, hands up, he's, he's learning. Zio's just thinking, no ace, no ace, no ace. And so Zio just wants to maximize value, and he wants to bet something that ace highs can come along with, and that's exactly what he's doing here. It also might induce a raise. A lot of bets that Zio makes are traps. Let's see if RB falls victim to this trap. He's going to. What a great inducing here by Zio. He induced exactly what he wanted. And now Zio's looking at his chips, counting it out, planning the streets. And I mean, there's no reason to re-raise here, right? You just call and let him fire again. Keep his bluffs alive. And that's exactly what Zio's going to do. I have no doubt about that. I've been wrong, though. But I, just, I see no reason to raise here. You're afraid of nothing. Afraid of nothing other than a club. You're beating a lot of the hands that play this way, too. A lot of middling pairs might think they're this good. 
Oh, he's... Wow. See, what do I know? He's just going to put the pressure on now. And he was hoping that RB had one of those middling pairs. That is what he was hoping. He knows. He's like, hey, if he has nines, if he has tens, if he has jacks, if he has queens, I'm getting value from all of those. And now, I mean, RB just has to let it go, though. The problem is that he actually had ace-king, and he was actually bluffing. So Zio's going to know that he left a little bit on the table there. the face of a man thinking, shit, what the f, f did I just do? Take a walk. You know, I've talked about this before, but one thing that's unique about these stream games is that there is a pressure, whether or not it's stated or not, it's not stated, but there's a pressure to stay playing even after you take a big loss. Because, hey, it's a show. You know, sometimes players take breaks, but they always become quick breaks. You know, if you're playing at your local casino or even at a home game, maybe say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go outside and take a break for a second. I'll be back. But you don't get that luxury here because you're on the show. You feel pressure to stay. And that's why you get people going on such omega tilt on the show. RB is frustrated with himself. Nobody likes that ace. Everyone is uncomfortable here. And it, let's see what happens if it checks around again. Well, it's probably not going to. Taha. First to act and looking at a board of overcards to his nines. So I don't know what he's thinking 225. about. 225. 225. This is a very small bet. And he gets quickly raised by Brett. I don't even think the chips had left Taha's hand. And he's going to call here and hope to hit a nine and a nine only. Or I'm sorry, a 10 would be good. I'm sorry, a 10. He has a gutter to a 10. Oh my goodness. This would be ambitious, to say the least. And the, all right, he needs a nine or a 10 right now. Let's do it, Lauren. Let's do it. Five, six. Is that it? Yes, that's it. I gotta go back and watch that. I'm curious about that one too. Upside down nine. <laughs> it's my turn. Your first half. You might have that the not special. Probably after you want to know. The answer Sorry, is don't do it. Yeah, no, I don't care. I think he's going to check. I think that he might feel right now that he's given away too much. And you don't have to do this. See, so second guessing himself. I'm all in. Wow. How much is it? Wow. Steel Hands 23 said, Bleff incoming. You called it, my friend. Five. You could see him second-guessing himself. You could, you could really see him second-guessing himself. 
And the thing is, now from Brett's perspective, Queen Jack is a bluff catcher. There's no value hand that he's doing this with that you're beating. No way. Probably just going to pay you off, I guess. But. Yeah, well, you're not really losing to much. You're losing to random sets, ace-jack, ace-queen. You block both of those. Ace-eight, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, you're boned. I got nines. No good. Nice hand, man. Next. Thanks. Oh, he's reaching into the backpack. How much is he going to bring out? How much are we going to bring out, Taha? What's the over-under on what the, the rebuy is? And how does he have his money? This guy seems like a cash business to me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I honestly forgot about it. No, I'm going to wait. They're discussing his money right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's kind of quiet, but. I so wanted him to turn over the nuts there, bro. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> None taken. I get that a lot. It's nothing personal. Totally okay. Uh, me. <laughs> I thought it was definitely possible, so. 300 now. Sorry. No worries. Thank you. It looks like he just bailed. But his... I, I saw a hey, shot. Do it. it looked like... Don't do up to 4K, right? I, I can. Why? I thought you said up to 4K. Your, your list set up to 4K in small bills. Oh, he's paying with small bills. I did. Oh, boy. So for those of you that don't know, there is a limit to how much you can buy in for with $20 bills. Casinos have this rule. You can't buy in more than, what is it, 1000 1500 with small with 20s or less? So, you know, I'm not allowed to take them because I'm a host. I'm not allowed to do any transactions. It's the drug dealer rule. Or I was just taking to accommodate you, but, but I can't. So, just letting you know. What? How much do you have? 3500 All in one. I'll take 34 No, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll take them from you. 24 and you got a deal. No, I'm joking. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not going to, not at a discount. 400. Saline, 400 to you, buddy. He's buying it. <laughs> no, it says I can't give him chips. I give him cash. What do you mean? Yes or no? Oh. Okay. Yeah. You just go outside and do it. You have to do, yeah, exactly, Saline. You have to give plausible deniability. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get around the rule by just giving him cash instead of giving him chips. Yeah, let's say that out loud and on camera. 800. So it sounds like he's trying <laughs> to get $4,000 in small bills, which is an insane request to make it a casino. They just won't do that. Right. I have a six. Nice hand. Ace is better than six. Yes, it is. Man, Nick's been living right since last time. Last time I saw him, he had a nice, like, uh, Breitling Bentley. And now he's just fucking sky dwelling. Yeah, he still has the Bentley. Sky dwelling. Love, What's happening? I love my Bentley, man. I'm just a little Bentley guy, too, you know? Me, not, as soon as I get my Bentley, I have, they're all being, like, worked on and cleaned. I'll be, oh, yeah. I'll be wearing them again. I like them. I love I don't it, care yeah. what anyone thinks about status. and. Yeah. I love I love Breitling. Oh, wow. I'll be back. 
just saying, I hope I'm on the same trajectory as Nick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Uh, Rage? He's a big one, never mind. He's a big? Yeah. Oh. Alright, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> whatever I want? Okay, I just wanted to make it uh, 150 then. 150 now. And so Taha is off figuring out the cash situation. We're going to continue playing. But guys, don't put a casino floor guy this time as much. in this awkward position of having to decide to either break the rules for you. Oh, buddy, slow down. Mas espacio. Or say no. It's just a lose-lose. Fuck. RB is going to get nothing here. How much is that? Should have bet the turn. You already said that. Yeah, I guess I should have listened. Sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I just fold. Just trying to find a bluff somewhere that I can make. But <laughs> so that guy, he just don't believe me. Thank you. Nice hand. Thanks, sir. Sorry for cursing. I'll stop. <laughs> The George W. Bush Center for Intelligence says, remember the IRS monitors chat and watches the stream. No, I said, no, I say, I, I hope you guys... Seems like it's coming from a place of authority, too. The George W. Bush Center for Intelligence, the guy would know. Thanks for paying 8,000 over stickers because of the shortage. Oh, thank you, dude. It is so hard to buy a car right now, huh? Insane. So Big Fuego asks, is this a casino policy or a law? So I'm not sure because I believe there is a regulation in place, but the casinos definitely decide the exact amount that people can cash in. I, I've been at different casinos where it's a different amount. Sometimes it's 1,500. Sometimes it's 1,000. Yeah, that's... I thought used cars hard to get. There's always a limit on small bills. Always a limit on small bills. Gotta have your money in hundreds. No, hey, like a lot. Unless, unless you're getting that, you get the Tesla. Tesla is the same. They kept it kind of the same. Yeah. They, they don't mark it up, so because they're making it here, it's not like chip shortage from China. Or something. Gotti says, I take 5k and 20s to Motor City all the time. Yeah, that's Detroit, though, bro. Lambos and stuff. That's on fire. It's a different ball game. They'll take 20s there. I used to play at Motor City. Some sort of fire. I don't think it was like stuck out there, but a fire happened. They're estimating 40 million dollars of like cars is burned up out there. Sounds like they wanted that one. Straddle? Can I still straddle? I mean, the prices are going up. How about the gas prices? Keeps going up. Keeps breaking records. It's like six dollars. This is gonna be seven. Is it really six dollars here in California? Some, some areas are six. Yeah. Wow. Six dollars. Wow. Rage rules says oh, Detroit. Like, what? It's like Europe prices. Europa. Europe. Europe was like five, six dollars. We used to make fun of them. Now we're. Who's afraid of Detroit? I have something. That's what I want to know. I want to make it uh, seven hundred. Can't quite. Is that a 5k chip? It's a 5k. Okay, yeah. cool. Sweet. <coughs> Follow me. I hope you do. Did Barry go to eat? 800? 800. Sorry. Oh. No discount. Twelve hundred. One thousand two hundred. Twelve hundred. That's correct. Thirty-two hundred. Someone called out my Claude von Stroke reference. I fold. And no, I lived in Michigan. I learned to play poker. Playing at Motor City and MGM. Club, there's a, a boat worth 40 million on, on in the middle of the ocean. That's so I know Detroit fire, poker. Probably not an accident. <laughs> yeah. Seems like probably right. an insurance job. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know all the details. I'm pretty skeptical like, about that one. I gotta be honest. I mean, how does that fire just happen in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't really read uh, all the details, but. He's saying that we can't be doing it on camera. Oh, you can't do it at all. Gandhi says Detroit's the you closest casino outside. to me. The action there is always yeah, yeah, insane. He's taking a break. <laughs> Sterling Heights in the house. Parking lot and do whatever you want. Mm. 
Yeah, Michigan representing in the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish you would have let me win that last hand, though. <laughs> cool. It's unfortunate. 150 now. Gamble poorly? All right, here we go. So has he solved the situation? No, he's gonna he's gonna go cash it out. I don't know, change it. He has to go get different bills. I love it. I know I was hating on Taha earlier. I love Taha. We need more Taha. He has ones. If I had them, like, what I do with them? Strip club before? He has ones. Not. How does he have st he has st <laughs> stacks of ones? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's I have here, ten back. He is here with his yeah. girl. Fifteen, sorry, fifteen back. Oh. Sorry, back sorry, sorry. Yeah. I like it, man. <laughs> he's an entrepreneur. Yeah, I mean he owns a dollar a laundry <laughs> They're all laughing. Well, I looked on his Instagram before he got here. He's, he said he's a professional poker player. So. You're doing a little research. Yeah, right, dude. Researching the players, huh? Yeah. You know <laughs> that one I'm also pretty skeptical about. Stop too. it, you guys. Like, oh, stop it. Well, no, oh, no, one's gonna, no, I, no. I didn't say that. No one's going to actively No one's going to actively promote that. I didn't that. say that. I just was saying what I read, yeah. Oh, you're being you serious? I swear, that's what oh. it said. I don't know. I thought you were trolling. I thought you were trolling, dude. <laughs> I swear to God it says that. Well, there's lots of there's lots of disciplines in poker. To be fair, no limit's just one of them. Gamble. Right. I feel like the green cue. Like I always have to double check if I'm suited or not. Check. 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 Gamble. No gamble. Heads up. I say we call him Versace Mark 2.0. Ha 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 check. Yeah, but he's famous on TikTok in Thailand, check. Six. Oh, you've got a shirt with Versace with a mask on, you never know. And look at that jacket, that's something Mark would wear. That is something Mark would wear. So they'll take yeah. 20s, right? Is that what you're saying? Up to 4K, I believe. Yeah. But yeah. more actually plays crazy. poker, though. <laughs> So I believe that Taha is going somewhere outside of the casino to get those bills changed to bigger bills. Because legally you can't do anything. And uh, I mean, not that they would have, but when you're making such a spectacle over it, I mean, it's kind of like, okay, well, we can't do that. I mean. 600 now. Leo Park. Why don't you go over there? Maybe there's someone over there outside who might be able to help you. Six. Let me use the restroom real quick. Okay, mute. <coughs> 22. 2200. I fold. Show me your kings. Good fold. Show me your kings. I'll show you my hand. <laughs> I'll show you. I have, I have something similar to that, not kings. Queens? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I should have called it. Oh, that's a pretty hand. I said, I Thank thought you. you had a really big hand. Last time I donated this guy five, six grand with that. That's probably a call there anyways, but. And here's the question. When Taha gets back, after going on this long journey to do whatever, to get this money, you think he's just going to knit up? I don't think so. He's going to want to play. He's going to feel like he missed a bunch of hands. He had to work hard to get this money in the game. He's going to start playing. I'd be looking to make money right then. Right. 
This is a dangerous hand for Nick. The thing is, he's watched all night as Brett has gotten out of line. And Nick has a bluff catcher. The problem is there's not really that many bluffs. Jimmy Bluffett says, Taha gets check raised by me every hand. Exactly. Barry might have just isolated him ones, when he gets know. back. What? Yeah, about four granny ones. He oh, wants yeah. to sell it. He got him with him now? Yeah, he wants to. Where's he at? He went outside. I guess you can't do it. In ones, though. though. You can. One, one dollar. I don't want to. No? Yeah. <laughs> I'd buy like a thousand of them. Uh, yeah, like 4K. 100. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we're trying to <laughs> How do you get that many ones? All organized and shit, wrapped and shit. A thousand dollars in ones. How do you even have that? <laughs> I have never seen that in all of my years. I like how open it is. Never. That's true. green, but I don't care. Yeah. What else am I going to use it for? 2,500. If I guessed your hand exactly, will you tell me when I fold? If you show me your hand after. I'll show you. Okay. Have ace queen. I think you have eights. No. Nice. Nice hand. Nice big fold. Nick is in the hand. That's a big fold, man. Nice hand. You're supposed to pay that off there, professional. You scared me. You're supposed to pay that shit off. I made it nice and cheap ski. Ah, uh, this is very scary. Very scary. Nice hand. Thank you. Shit, I, I thought I was setting you up the whole way. I thought the five was just gravy. That's how stupid I am. Will you stop telling me about my match? Tell Ryan to stay. Go play a home game and lose 400000 Whoa! <laughs> Shots fired. Nick, you're Bitcoin? Uh, okay. Go play a home game and lose 400 Thank you, by the way. Did I, I did tip you? You did. I wasn't sure if you were putting out your... But you did. No, I'm going to tip you again. Oh. No, take it. Take you'll I never so. get another Thank tip you. like that again. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I'm the tip shame police. Oh, really? She earned that one with that five, or I was dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was going to do the same thing anyways, though, ironically. Oh, my God. You, 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 you oh, see how it is? You give them a little bit, how they just keep asking? You want to? Want me just Venmo you? Would you like me to just Venmo you? Give me your email address. Is he back? Wow. Yeah, this guy is flat and cream. Yeah, I thought I'd mix it up. I thought it was a huh? David Hall says, selling joints as a kid has pockets full of ones. There you go. Maybe he's just your good old neighborhood friendly joint seller. Nothing wrong with that. It's California. Don't be nosy. The table is kind of is wondering if he's actually going to make it back. Nick over there doing what Nick does, huh? Building castles. Doing Nick things. Hmm. 200. Castles in the sky. Okay. <coughs> Melt into the sea. Hmm. Yeah. Eventually. Oh, wow. See, now chat's working together. We're coming up with interesting theories. Master of Null says Taha owns a dollar store. Very reasonable. That's another legit reason to have a lot of ones.
$3,000. Josh comes up with a good one. He owns a car wash. Get lots of ones in that business. Maybe a flea market. See, plenty of legitimate reasons. It's just not worth the end result, even if I'm right. Okay. Yeah, Nick's right. Meanwhile, we have a hand in Nick. This is a massive overbet by Zio. <laughs> He's just hoping that Nick binked a jack. I let him bluff me already once. Or has a king. I guess I'm going to let him probably bluff me twice today. I just don't, uh, I Nick. don't want to fight for this one, Zio. What do you think about that? Huh? Does that make you want to order the beef and broccoli? Nick and Zio have played a lot of hands together. That's his favorite dish, man. A lot of hands together. Right, Zio? He's not going to break. Nick knows that it's, yeah. There you are. There you it's are. a different player at the table. Maybe yeah, Nick can, finds a hero I'll call. But <laughs> there you are. not against Zio. Nice hand. Oh, Alec has a good ace. idea. A street okay, performer. Ace, so. I fall ace. You make a nice bruff. Mm. Oh, so bluff. No bruffy. No bruffy. <coughs> oh, I make quick look, look, look. Oh. Vending machines. A nice side hustle. Yep. A bartender. King ball or jack ball? <laughs> I One both. of those. I have both. Oh, yeah, both. I have both. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was that same God, talk about a guy having the world. I have both. I owe you now, Zio. All you got to do is ask. No, it's fine. I know you don't give two yeah. shits. You never ask. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro. Professional. He's a real pro. <laughs> Together, I think we're putting the pieces together. I would have guessed Bunny would have been here today. She's got that tournament tomorrow. Oh, she's in a tournament here? At the main event tomorrow. It's nice when chat works together. She said she's playing tomorrow. Oh, Can I get yellow? LAPC. Figure it out. LAPC uh, at uh, Commerce tomorrow. Commerce? Really? It's a 10K, yeah. Thank you. How many days is it? Nick should play. You should sure. play that. I really should. I'm Five sure. days, though, oh, if you make it. No, I don't even want it. Yeah, even if I won it, I'd be tilted for five days. I think it is. So it much. No, it's too long. Okay. Something yeah. like that. Hey, what if we all invest in you, bro, and pay for us? Dude, I think you're worse. Running, the yeah. way you're running. That's even worse than if I win, I, what, I got to pay all you guys? <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no. That's generally how it works. Yeah, no. The way you've been running, it's bro. Like, it would be like Griff of Poker with Nick, like, win it, dude. I'll totally. I mean, if I play it, I'm gonna win it. Yeah, I'll tell yeah, you that right. Yeah. I guarantee right. on top three. He has the discipline for it. He has the patience. I'm telling you. Yeah. But how can I pass up Chris tomorrow? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, you know what I mean? That's that's you negative. That Even if I win day. it, that's negative EV. You can make that in two hours. You just Chris. You can the money. I'm negative EV. Even if I if I win. What do you guys play tomorrow? We just played a oh, five five you. anti game, but it's oh, cool. still if you watch. Yeah, sure, yeah. play again. But it's a it's a it's a huge Wednesday. five five fifty. I believe ten twenty is Wednesday. That's what uh, Versace said. That seems like uh, yeah, fun game. Yeah, Barry will be here all week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be here. The bathroom is that way. Barry will be here all week. Sam C. I am here all week. <laughs> Sam work. I ain't doing nothing else. I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> doing nothing be here all day. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse says, you don't get a lot of ones selling drugs. More like 50s and 100s. It just depends on the size of the sacks you're selling. You got a three sack. A six sack, you know. Sometimes drop a kilo, which is like stick it to you. 
depends on your eye watch, but <laughs> sometimes we do that, and uh, yeah, we're 25 minutes. That's cool. Yeah. When you guys play PLO, what are you guys playing? Five ten or five, five ten, twenty. He does. He has no idea. I have no idea. I don't. You don't play. You don't mess with it. I don't play. It's so much fun though. And then I, I tune in to play. Yeah. Play. It's not. It's not, it's not good to watch it. My head hurts. Oh. Yeah, graphics. Are, graphics are nuts. Like. Sure. Yeah. No, it makes sense. I'll go into the chat just to play around. But yeah. <laughs> Say hi. And troll me. And hi to the disciples. That's my favorite part when you get in. Yeah. I jump in. Thirteen hundred. And I go to bed. And as Salim here, Salim just checked, so he's giving up. Yep. One of those. Yeah, turn gave me a lot of outs. That's why I call. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, that's gave you a lot of outs, huh? No shit, Ed. Straight draw <laughs> with a <laughs> pair. <laughs> Thanks, man. I can't, had a straight draw, too. Not even yeah. any Wow, is that real? Yeah. Any position with the buttons or any amount. Wow, you guys like that fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knock yourself out. I'll well, stick with the truth. Nick, you're going to need a big one. Okay. He ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> Three hundred. Oh, I hope I have something. Yeah. You do. Is that a blind raise? That's a raise. Oh, he saw that's his cards. Raise. I can't tell you that. Oh. I can't tell you that. I didn't. I didn't see him looking at his cards. That's why. I can't kick Come on, one time, tell us. <laughs> He probably saw it too. So. No, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Oh, I hope I have some. That's all 300. <laughs> I, I can't even call. It's crazy. Okay, three players now. Check. Okay, then. Six hundred. Six hundred. This guy left? Oh. No, he's coming back. Someone's 10 is good. Thank God. Thank God you called. Save me a thousand. You have 10? No. Pocket pair. I'm oh, sorry. You're fine. Wait, what have I ever shown you? Yes. Hey, don't call you a call? Uh, what if RB didn't uh, call, I would have called and lost. Five, 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 so we're still waiting on Taha and the theories, the conspiracy theories, which it has now grown into a conspiracy theory of where the ones come from, <laughs> when he's going to get back in the game. Look at he's up 20 grand. Why would he be sad? It's a nice life. Totally sad. Sad. Sad my ass. Big boy? He's depressed. Can't you tell? Poor guy is so sad. Grande, blonde. Yeah, I don't feel great. My big one? No. Well, you look good. Thank you. you feel good. All that. You play good. All that. <laughs> uh, let's do four. 400. Whoa, very. 
I'm tilting. Barry getting jiggy with it. Why are you tilting? You win. Yeah. Gangsta boogie. Oh, my goodness. Jiggy. You guys pull out all the... Chase, my friend. I don't do any innuendos. Jiggy's nothing. Uh, heads up, you too. You say you don't dance. So heads up. Me. Brett and Barry. Oh, my goodness. Check. Keep mumbling now. Motherfucker. <laughs> he said, fuck this guy. I'm going to call this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Call. Brett's gonna call. Wants to find a queen or an ace. A king would look like a good card, but it wouldn't be. Check. What's Ronnie say? Oh, look at that pretty little baby. Mm -hmm. I need this flop top pair every time. I fold. I need to do that more. Flop more top pairs. What'd you eat, Wes? Chicken tender? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. French fries. Oh. Ooh. How was it? It's like you were at Chuck E. Cheese. <coughs> was it good? Uh, not too good. <laughs> you know, when I was in uh, DC, we went to a like, Michelin three star. It's yeah. called these Washington <laughs> Little Inn. Was good? Yeah, it's a French. What'd you have? What'd you get? I don't know. Actually, I don't. I, I don't like French food. Yeah. But I mean, it's a three star, so I, I want to try. Yeah. Sometimes the chef right in the middle of cooking just quits. It's crazy. Hundred <laughs> 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 cattle. <laughs> what? Just, just gives up. Yeah. No more. No more. Just gives up. Says I've had enough. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> 400. 400. Oh. Three players think it's in there. 500. 500. 12. 1,700. 1,700. All right, let's go 11 more minutes, and then I'm going to Matter of fact, you know what? Call her up so I can order now when you get her in. Please, and thank you. So Wesley is way in the lead here, and he's just been having a terrible night. And I think that Wesley might be about to freak himself out if this hand keeps going much longer, because you can just see the difference in look in his eye compared to when he's having fun. You know, he's worried. It just feels like every time you're second best, third best, is this one of those times again? His body language says he's going to fold. Let's see. And see, when you're playing in a streamed game, you might convince yourself that you're about to make a really smart fold. Come on, Wesley. Don't do it. You're overthinking it. Oh. Yeah. That's a lot. Heads up, You got it? Even if you come, even if you come close, we're good. Parking Bat 29 said, giving off so much information. Ain't that the truth? And sure, you know what? The chat pros are going to say, hey, but the fours hit. Doesn't matter. Wes was good on that card. Now both players have a straight. He's all in. I call. Once or twice. One time it is then. One time confirmed. We got another hour and a half or so left. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This has been a really fun game. And... I think we're going to get the return of Taha. The legend of Taha grows. You had hearts now. Can I have 25? Sure. Thank you. 75, 75. All right, guys. Thanks so much. It's a fair opening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You said you put me in a bad spot. Is that what you said? Bet TV. The first video streaming platform created by gamblers for gamblers. What they really mean is bluffers. So check it out. MaxBetTV.com. Watch for free. Works on major streaming devices, smart TVs, tablets, computers. All gambling. Nick one fifty. Somehow. It's usually not a good sign. <laughs> What's wrong with the right? Two hundred one nineteen. I'm just on? saying, I don't know. Call one fifty. What's going on? So I I saw he left and he called and he had yeah, I just I had left. Yeah. Basically. Everyone chicken. Everyone's a chicken, man. Again? Bunch of chicken heads. That's like three or four times in a row, bro. Now, like, that's like a six to eight hundred ball just to sit here and play with these bones. <laughs> yeah, you more under that. I know, I keep winning. I feel like you and Barry have paid 90. You and Barry, yeah. Almost, Barry won the first three. One more, one more full, one more full didn't work. Like oh, oh damn, it didn't work. <laughs> I got something, All something. All they took was one, <laughs> four, four. One I got I'll something, something. Something, something, huh? Check. Uh, Ace high. I have Ace high too. Ah, same man. Wow. Nice hand. The interesting thing is that if Taha didn't want to come back, he would probably go and take his bag. That's a really nice bag. We got He has some of his jewelry over there. And he's just leaving it here. So it makes me think that he really is out there trying to get big bills. We'll see if he comes back. We're both if going for that king, huh? Exactly. Which one? Which hand? That guy? Right now? No. That guy? He who, who that? Nice. Yeah, I know. Like, he almost pulled the turn. But they all in the river. Well, that but was probably part of the issue. That doesn't make sense. But never mind. His bag is gone. Yeah, makes sense. Well, so you're correct. His bag is gone. No comment. <laughs> you know what that means? Nope. <laughs> I love when you say no and you do. <laughs> no. I'm gonna change the restroom real quick. Can you hear me, Toby? Three hundred. Call. 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 A lot of Three. calling happening. This is fun. Okay, at least it's happening fast. I like it fast. Yeah, Let's I just go. provoked him into doing it yes. fast. <laughs> Pick me. Are you using your one time now? Yeah. Five players. Very chicken in the dark. Check. Six hundred. Sixteen hundred? Sixteen hundred. Check. 
Sorry. I have a 10. Me too. Yeah. Damn, I'm glad you didn't bet the turn because I was going to shove. <laughs> I would have, I would have folded. Oh, shit, I wish you could bet the turn. Yeah. Shove the turn? Yeah. What? Like diamond and ten. Oh yeah. No, I didn't like bet. the turn. That's just scary. Diamond draw and a ten. I gotta shove. Shove? Like all in? Yeah, like everything. All of it. Total Slovenia. No, if he no, bet, no, I promise. I swear he bet. I he believe him. That's why I didn't do it. That's maybe two thousand. I shove. That sounds I scary. Risk the fold, right? Of course. No, he won't. But I have outs. You know what I mean? Lots yeah. of them. Semi pull up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You go. Mm. Sorry, nice everyone. Happen. Sorry, thanks. Oh, I thought you were going to do it, too. Sounds like something I would do. No, I thought you were going to do it. 150. 150. This is going in. Damn. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure something cool will happen. Yeah. All right, heads up. Come on. Check. 150. 150. Check. Four hundred. Four? Yeah. Hundred. Four hundred. bets. I have, I have middle pair on flop. First Wesley. Oh shit, I don't know what that means. Means he's good, he can be bluffing. <laughs> so I just got an update on Taha. He's not coming back. The end of Taha. Charles on 100. Oh. Great detective work by all of you guys in chat. I think we basically cracked the case. Oh. What I miss with new guy? Nothing special. <laughs> what happened? Who beat him up? He he made a big bluff. New guy on new guy coming. Yeah. Like, he like, he like bluffed like uh, maybe no fourth pair or something. Player. Yeah. And I just called. The way he's been playing, yeah. though, I'm shocked I didn't see uh, nuts. Big 10 for the. Uh, yeah, he shoved. It was flipped 300. He sold me on it, but he had two pair and couldn't fold, so got him. I don't like folding, it's not fun. No, it's not fun. Price went up. 1300. Celine is opening it up a little bit. For our friend, I mean, they took it from me. Wesley's Robert. all in. Good hand. Oh no. Bullshit. Wesley was all in. <laughs> I knew that. Like was nothing fun. more That's exciting. I, than that. I would have won with that hand. Nice hand. Thank you. You bluff. Nice hand. Nice hand. Hmm? You bluff? No. <laughs> you want to bluff four people? <laughs> <laughs> Wesley, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> what did he say? Tell me, please. Yeah. Entertain me. He said, you bluff? And then he answered him. And he said, say it again. I said, oh, you want to bluff four people? <laughs> what did he say? You want to bluff what? Four people. Four, four people. people. Four people means you're, it's shorthanded. You're trying to bluff four people. Yeah. He's saying it's a bad idea. <laughs> I understand. He's like that. He likes, he's, he's Little needle. I understand. 
innocent. It's, it's innocent. Because he doesn't know he's doing it. Because he doesn't it. know he's doing it. Yeah. So he, it, it I, believe me, this cannot, this cannot offend me, I swear. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. That's, uh, Trust me, I don't mind. Do? Observation. Yeah, yeah, observation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> 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 I am telling the truth. Nick is picking the wrong spot to open it up. I like you, Wes. We'll be all crazy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This we find out about the mask, right? Yeah, Two thousand. Pumps up for the price. LA city or for here specifically? LA oh. county. And that is a small raise. Nick is actually getting a pretty good price. He just happens to have a rather mediocre hand. He has a bad ace. So he just lets it go. That's some disciplined poker. Okay, do that. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. Bad timing, you're right, Wes. Bad timing. <laughs> He's still <laughs> What? He's agreeing with you. Bad timing on a bluff. Yeah. I mean, four people. Oh, too much people. You see, you guys were having too much fun the whole straddle, time. Raise, yeah. re-raise, raise, re-raise. I have a lot of outs if uh, 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 like a four of clubs four, comes four, on the four, turn. Four. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's hard to right see, yeah. yeah. That's I why I just it. asked to make sure. I did not see it. 500? Yes, that's crazy. Hold I ain't doing nothing, no. Can I be button or no? Um, in a couple of years. Oh, okay. So Brett raised it up. Barry called. A three Check. would be Check. a disastrous card Check. for Brett. Nope. There you go. 600? 600. Barry is actually in a commanding lead, but he can't know this. I got the flop I wanted, and I never should have checked it. Hmm. Three would be really bad for me. Yeah, three would have been terrible for Brett. Thank you. No, not, not my bet. Oh, uh, thank my you bet for no three. three. <laughs> no three. 2015. Um, he just walked back in. He probably oh, was just outside. Did he smoke? I don't remember. Thank really you, nice my guy. brother. Yeah, I'll just mine? He's a sweetheart. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're that guy. He probably got some more jewelry also. <laughs> yeah, maybe he bought another roller. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah, he went up there and bought junk jewelry one day. <laughs> Did he really? Great. Piece of shit. 150. Let me say in front of him. A guy drove up in his car with his wife and kids. 150. And he swore to him it was it was uh, oh, real. Yeah. And he asked for 500 and said he, they haven't eaten and whatever. The kids were crying. You know how they do the cult family scam. Mm -hmm. And Arby came in with a whole bag of gold. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I was gonna give it to him anyways. I was like hoping it could be real. 400. We're just talking about your gold paper. Your oh, shit. Paper. Still, bro, let it go, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were outside, so somebody... Who said it? Somebody I actually... Had, oh, it's Lisa. I said you're a nice guy. <laughs> I, I, I said you're a nice dude. He's like... Yeah, yeah. The nicest yeah. guys get suckers. He teed, yeah. it up, he teed it up, and I... Uh, At least I sold it back for, like, half of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You keep that up enough, you buy for 500 or something for 200 for your going places, baby. <laughs> Sounds like crypto. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, bro, I, I did feel bad, yeah. man. The kids were crying. Like, how, do you tra how do you train your kids to cry? Nice like, fake cry. Well, they they're not training. They, they were probably them. getting smacked around they before they pulled up. It's they crazy, bro. You train your you're kids to You're the perfect to guy because you're so <laughs> nice, you know? I'm like, all right, you're man, here. You're to him anyway. 
The guy was driving a better car than me. <laughs> he had a brand new SUV. <laughs> 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 I should have been assigned. He's like, I have no money no. for shit. He's like, I have no money for gas. I'm yeah. like, all right, bro. Oh, <laughs> Same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You what? He, he thought he was getting Oh, yeah, no, good deal, yeah. yeah. Win-win, yeah. helping people, printing. Right place, right time. <laughs> yeah. He liked that. Probably smacking his kids before he'd come up to me. <laughs> I start crying. Start crying, damn it. <laughs> They're crying because they were hurt. Yeah. I'm going to make you cry. Igor. Oh. Nick raises it up with Queens. Right. It's called by Wesley with the Jack Four. Wesley will need running cards to win this hand. Either running cards for a straight or a flush. Or two fours. Check. Now, Wesley's only outs are to a 10. <clears throat> he has no idea where he is here. One thousand. Just going to bet. <sighs> Nick with that big sigh. Probably just going to call here. Or 100% win stat, one of the two. Mike, don't you ask me to paint him off. Me. He wants to give up. Wesley some rope. <laughs> play, play, play two hands and win all of them. Yeah. It's kind of a good, but it's a good way to go. So Wesley maybe about to pick the wrong spot to bluff, the wrong guy to bluff here. He's gonna big, make a big bet. He wants to maximize fold equity. If you're gonna bet, you gotta bet big. He is going to bet big. He's going to overbet the pot, it looks $2, like. 500. Oh, 2,500. Okay. And this is just. The graphics say 3,500. I think I heard him say 2,500. But it doesn't really change Nick's position here. He's losing to flushes, he's losing to Broadway. So. I think the only thing he can do here is call. He's not getting, well, he does raise. 8,500. This would be one of the sickest raises ever if Wesley shoves here because he will get a fold. Nick has opened himself up to potential serious pain. If Wesley makes one of the best moves of his poker career right now, and he's thinking about it, Think about it, Wesley. Nah, you can't do it. What? Okay, Wes. You got 35. Yes, back. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Alexis says, Nick has been printing money, session after session, playing really well. He is playing really well. Just playing really solid poker. If you're looking for consistent wins and you're playing in wild games like this, Playing better cards than everyone else. Make it three counts. Three hundred. It's gonna give you the biggest win rate. Nick raises it up. Brett calls with crabs. Wesley calls with ten nine. You playing Friday with fourteen hundred. I don't know. And Salim with a big three bet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about. It. I'm here all week, so possibly. Call. Call 
And so Nick calls, and that brings along Brett and Wesley. There's a three. There's a three. Unfortunately for Brett, no one else has anything. And this is going to be so frustrating for him if he bets here and it just folds Good. around. You finally have it. 2,000? Too large. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one can really continue here. It would be so ambitious. Wesley says, hold my beer. Make it 7,000. Raises it up to 7,000. Wesley is trying to bully Brett. It is not going to work. And this is where Wesley's heart just starts sinking. Oh, what did I get myself into? And look at this. Brett only has about one third pot left. Stack to pot ratio. Let's go. There's no card here that he's afraid of. Okay. That's a good point. All in. All in. Where's and, Oh. I'm just the worst of all time. The absolute worst. Maybe I'll play one good hand at some point. Thank you, Brad. Make it 1,200. Mm. Nice today. <laughs> so we have a little rivalry developing between Nick and Brett. I always play him on rushes. And Nick just says, not right now. I see a lot of people in chat asking, why flat there and then shove? And they're talking about the previous hand, right, Brett versus Wesley. Uh, honestly, I don't here. understand <laughs> that. He's lost a couple. When people talk yeah, about <laughs> betting out of turn, I like your confidence. out of yeah, the betting like lead, <laughs> and See, donk betting, going. that's what they're talking about, because Wesley had the betting lead there. Today. He raised. The ace on the turn really changed nothing, so Brett's yeah, shove doesn't maybe, maybe make a whole lot of working. sense, because... In the event that Wesley is bluffing, you just have to let him bluff again. Wake up. Poke the bear. You got to keep their bluffs alive. There's really only two reasons to bet in Texas Hold'em. Those two reasons are to make a better hand fold or to get a worse hand to call. Check. Check, 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 QRD. And I wonder okay, what good. that bet there was trying to accomplish. Check again. Check again. Check. Check is good. 800 is the bet. I, mean, I feel like you won't believe me. I'm going to fold. No one's on. What'd you say, Zia? <laughs> Thank you, Arby. Keep it down over there, young man. <laughs> what I don't get is how does he have a fan? So apparently Taha is playing on Bovada. <laughs> with five hundred dollars stack. He's playing one three online in his car. Hundred to go. In the parking lot out here. Fold. Fold. Heads up. Hurry, can I have some change? 
Yes, sir, you can. 200. 200? Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Three hundred. Three Here we go. Swaps. We have a three bet and a call. Yeah, that's one of them. I check. Check to you, Wesley. Brett has bottom pair now. Check is good. Wesley's check. gonna pot control. No reason to continuation bet. If it checks check to you again, you can, but it just goes check, check. Now Wesley has showdown value. So he's just gonna snap oh. it off. Six? Check to you six. Six good? Six is good. Mm. Thank you, Magic. Thank you, bro. Big Money Bobby asks, Raver, do you play on stream? I have before. Not for a while. I played back in the early days of the stream. Man, that was back in like September now. I played it live at the bike or the other stream, the cell phone stream as we call it around here. Maybe five times. But I haven't played in a while. We're actually, we're organizing a commentators game. 200. Sometime in the next month or two. So I will definitely be playing in that. That should be fun, although I don't think I have the greatest ROI in that game, especially if Bart is there and Mark Goon. The main person I want to be there is DGAF. Because the last time he and I played, we shut the table down and we're playing oh, until like 8 a.m. And he ended up stacking me, you know, around, uh, you know, early in the morning, 7.30 a.m. after we had been playing Very for close to 12 down. hours. <laughs> was my ace this good? There was a third guy at the out. table and we were Maybe both trying to get his money. Yeah, it was. And he ended up I stacking me that. and I've... He hit a gutter on the turn when I hit a set. And I've wanted payback ever since. Boy, 
Muy bien. Walk, 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 walk. Shit. Fuck. Such things. Three fifty. Zio raises it up nice big hit. with ducks. Sandy Joy says, everyone gets the same two cards. Hashtag positivity. It's always such a pleasure to have Sandy Joy in the chat. She is such a positive presence in the chat where we need it. A unicorn in the poker chatville. The threes look like, look like sixes or eights on this deck. It's weird. When you feel it. Take me. <clears throat> Kid K420 says, that's the true Take test that. in the game. How you handle losing. That is the truth. That is the truth. Check. <laughs> Check. You want to know what one of the keys to that is? Mm. And it's counterintuitive. <laughs> Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. But it's to not celebrate you. your victories. I'm telling you. Where'd you get that? Watch any real pro play poker. <laughs> I don't understand. You know, save a few of them. So it's very Tony G confusing. or those you know, those guys are exceptions. But in general, say. poker pros, they don't celebrate their victories. You won't see them fist pumping and jumping up and down when they pocket? win a big hand. Because when you do that, <laughs> it trains your brain to have this big dopamine, oh, shit, serotonin rush when you win a hand, right? And you're all excited. Oh, yes, let's go, let's go. And then you know what happens when you suddenly lose Jesus. and you don't get that big rush of good-feeling chemicals in your brain? It feels terrible. Three hundred. And so the best way to not get upset at losing in poker is to stop celebrating when you win. I'm telling you. Right Brett, three bets to fifteen hundred, and now Wesley has a real hand. So how do you maximize profit here? I think I think you just call, but looks like Wesley's gonna play it fast. Four thousand five hundred. I'm just going to give it up, I guess. Yeah. Nice hand. I have a good hand. I don't like folding. It's hard for me. Nice hand. And so that's one of those spots as Wesley, when you have to think about the, how much this guy more. has been three betting. You romance me a little bit more. Right? How much has this guy been three betting? Oh, a lot. He's been three betting a lot. And so why raise him there? You're gonna take his bluffs out. It means you gotta take me to dinner first, Wesley. Just call. You gotta take me to dinner first. You gotta know your customer. Tell me a story, you know? You told you a story. You did. I said, oh, so Marcus on Faya says, why just call there? Yeah, and it's because if you've been watching Brett, he has probably had the largest pre-flop raise aggression of anyone at the table. He's been three betting nonstop, which means he has a lot of just dog shit when he's doing that. A lot of it, right? And so when you suspect a player is doing that and you have a big monster, you just call. Because why are you going to four bet? You're going to fold out most of the hands he's doing that with. Right? So you just call, you let him do it again. You hope he hits some Great. 10 or 9 or whatever. So it's really important to understand who you're against in each hand in live poker. Cool. You're on a rush. Mm. 
No. I don't. I have way too many. I'll ask you too. Yeah. Make it friendly so people play. I'm gonna make it 600. Boo. Friendly 600. That's friendly. You beat me in every hand. I mean, all I like right. your chances. You said all right. All right, just because you said that. You talk me oh, look, Brett has now three bet like with Queen chances. 9 suited. So you're saying I have a chance. So I have a chance. That's mm -hmm. right. Oh, sorry. Mm, Classic. One of the best ever. Oh, I'm sorry. Check. A monster flop for RD. He's up and down. Dumb and Dumber will be one of them. Friday would be one. Flush draw. The clump. The first one was. Yeah. Eddie Murphy is so talented. He hits it. Brett is now drawing dead. I think you just check here as RB. Hope he fires, but I mean, we know he probably is not firing. Instead, RB is going to go with a big overbet, it looks like. Told you I liked your chances. 1,600. So about half pot. You bluff on me? Would you ever bluff on me? I have like nothing. I don't know. I'm just playing like shit. Getting lucky. Not winning as much as I should. Playing every hand terribly. Should be up a million. I just want to bluff catch so bad, but I have such a bad hand, huh? Yeah, you don't have a good hand to bluff catch with here. You really don't. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I don't beat anything, I guess. So. Yeah. All right, I fold. Nice hand. Thank Let's you. it go. Bluff on me? Yeah. <laughs> Nick nice Palmer hand. says you and Lauren, when you get it, I'm gonna get he wants to see so DJF and I play heads up. Anyway, I, I would like, love that. Uh, normally, well, you could have this one exact hand. Maybe if I bet a little smaller, huh? <laughs> no, it was just right. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I was just hoping you had the 10 there. Worldwide Wob, Jamie Kerstetter, Vince Van Patten, the legend. But the legend is truly in the booth with Norman Chad and Mark Goon. And if you guys have ever heard Norman Chad and Mark Goon commentate, it's awesome. Mark Goon is really successful at throwing Norman Chad off. Putting Norman Chad on his heels. And they're just a hilarious commentary duo. I've been doing it every round. No one else. I just don't want half of us doing it. I know. No one else. No one else. Yeah, okay. Just do a round. Yeah. They're starting a round of straddle. 250. 250. Jacob Hughes says, it's annoying when people win a couple pots and become a chatterbox. Oh, man. That's one of my pet peeves, too. People say they got talking chips. Eight. Eight hundred. Call. Call 800. Heads up, you too. Dangerous waters for Brett. Check. He hits middle pair. Check. So Wesley five. wants to get value from a cheaper hand, or from a worse hand. So he makes it very cheap here. Only 500. And that's going to bring Brett along. Check. Well, that's a fun card for Wesley. In case he was worried, he's not anymore. Because he has the absolute nuts. 
1,800. Okay. 1,800, a very precise amount. Call. But gets a quick call from Brett. Brett said on the previous hand he wanted to bluff catch, and he is just choosing the wrong time. Oh, boy, is it the wrong time. And I think if you're going to call the turn and the river is a blank, you got to call the river. Right? Why are you calling the turn if you're going to fold to this bet? 7,000. He wants to hero call. You have something good? Wow, he is considering this. Props to him for even thinking about it, but... This would be a massive punt. We got pair. Oh, let's keep playing bad. What do you mean playing bad? Folding? That Kinda actually fun, would be though. the right move. It's more fun than playing good. <laughs> Barry has to make his speeches in other people's hands because he doesn't play any. <laughs> fold. <laughs> Good fold. That is absolutely correct. No, I only do that to Nick because he makes a speech every time before he calls. Hey, Sam. Thank you. I apologize. Well. No, you're fine. I'm just teasing. We have Nick Fertucci playing. in the yeah, chat. Right. Shout out to Nick. Don't care at Nick all. played an incredibly solid game of poker tonight. Do you have a good hand? Navigating a table like this, doing like a where there, ranges are so ball. wide, Is my pair good? Got it. Pair you have? can be incredibly uh, difficult. Nick made the right decision the almost every hand. time. No. Just played really solid, just straight up poker. And that's how you beat games oh, okay. like this. Turn, They're getting all crazy. You don't Race. have to. You play better cards. That's how you beat games like this. I didn't this. pay any more time since I've been gone, Alan. No, you didn't. You gotta navigate the insanity. You want a hand when you're gone. Who That's was, how good you're running. Who's the big winner? <laughs> <laughs> That's how good I'm running. Who had to pay time? I don't know. I did, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't even need to be here to win. Just go eat oh, shit. <laughs> That's plus EV at dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. A lot of times when you're in a game like this, it'll be tempting to kind of join in the fun, you know? Everyone's going crazy, so I'm going to go crazy too. This will be fun. I'll play this random deuce five offsuit. But no, you just play solid poker. The answer is very straightforward. What did you say, Zio? I said something. He hasn't uttered a word since he said that. He doesn't talk. Yeah, he's in mute. Sometimes he laughs. Why do you even put him? You tell him a joke, he laughs. <laughs> yeah. He just nods. And he, he has nods. he has fans. Fourteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, they, they, love they, love they love him. They love him. They love him. They love him. He fits yeah. lower in mind and he doesn't talk and they love him. And he they hate my gut. <laughs> I know. Fucking the star. Poor guy. He has more haters than fans. <laughs> <laughs> Only time I have a fan in there if I ask a family member to watch. <laughs> <laughs> the one fan Zio has out in the game and busted out. So Brett <laughs> with one. has picked the wrong time to try to win one off Celine. He's seen Celine right. fold a no, lot. He liked him. I hope he'll come back. He's sweet. Fine. Thinks he can put his foot down here. 3,200. Celine's just going to play back. Set. Five, okay. He's got an L of Torelli in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Fold again? Thank you guys. I honestly can't remember. I think I had 6 8. <laughs> no, I just was calling with the pair. <laughs> Eight, 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 eight hundred, eight hundred, pay flow. Yeah, suited. Yeah, it was suited. Actually, it might have been nine. Hundred straddle. Call one hundred. 
So Nick, since you're in the chat, maybe you can give us some insight as to what your read on Taha was. 625. How you felt about the whole Taha trying to cash out all those ones in the moment. Have you ever seen that before? Chat came up with a whole load of conspiracy theories as to why he had those ones. Or not, not, not conspiracy theories, good theories. Solid foundational theories. Zeal cards, check around. Sixteen? One thousand six hundred. Sixteen dollars, huh? No, no. And where do you even get four thousand dollars in ones? Okay. Cool. Okay, so Brett bet out and just gets called by Barry. I like this call from Barry. No reason to raise here. Two thousand. Two thousand. Wow, this might induce a punt from Brett. It looks weak, but just a call. Hey son. Oh Barry, you saved your money. Yeah, five or seven. Not eight, nine, eight, nine. I would have called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen was a little too much. You have a cream? Yep. I have a cream. You should thank C3. Thank you, C3. We have Kush Wax connection in the chat. Of course, Kush Wax Connection refers to business of choice, which is selling online books. To university students. Richard, we need you in this game. Bertucci has more knit rolling to do. Have a great night. Oh, and look at that. See, we're just, all the players are coming in the chat now. BLW Barry. That's Barry, you guys. That's the real Barry. BLW Barry. Let's see you hit a club here, Barry. I'm on Team Barry. What do we want here? The eight of clubs? That'd be a good one. Oh, the six of clubs. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Check. Check. You gonna do a sneaky check? Come on, Barry, sneaky check. Okay, just 2,000. I don't know if you can get action though, Barry. Yeah. I have a question. How do you flop top pair so often? You need to teach me how to do that. She's a pinball wizard. <laughs> no doubt about it. 300. 900. 900. Yelling at the cars now. <laughs> All right, fool. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, great playing tonight, Barry. <laughs> 
Zio Six. Six. is trying to get in big pots against Wesley. It's kind of transparent what he's doing, right? He wants to be in big pots against Wesley. He wants to be in big pots against Brett. And so he's willing to make a bad call when he's in position against those players because he's so confident in his post-flop abilities that he thinks there's insane implied value there. And you know what? He's right. I just had so that's why you'll see Zio making <laughs> loose-ish calls that magic and software. isolation bets. Introducing the next air hockey mm -hmm. champion, Lauren. Yeah. Magic yeah. The card because so he feels that he is the best player at this like, table. And you know what? I mean, he's right. Stars My car went in here, <laughs> through hit him and Nick around, yeah. and it yeah. shot yeah. back yeah. to Arby. Yeah. Yeah. Are the two best players at this try, table. I try and cut you when they throw the deck in. No. Uh, no. I haven't seen this one. Sometimes I don't know where to <laughs> Yeah. But don't count Barry out. This is not the situation that Zio was looking for here. Doesn't know where he is. Just two overcards, and so he's going to continue. That is not the card he wanted. Might look like a good card. It does give him a lot of outs. You know, he can hit any knight, any king. Let's see it. Nope. And if Barry could find a check here, Zio might lead into him. No. You go, you go, you go. What do you want? You got off? I am. Oh, wait, what did you say, Z? Did you say something? I didn't say anything. Did you show or something? I didn't know what happened. Yeah, I did show. Did show uh, I didn't show you anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if the professional didn't see it, don't tell him what it was, please. <laughs> yeah, because he is definitely a professional here. I know. Kush Wax <laughs> Connection <laughs> says, that's all me, white smoke. Huh? Is that what that is outside? It's hard being so strong. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 That's Richard in the parking lot. I promise. <laughs> Hanging out with Taha. I have one oh. in the chamber oh. ready. Oh. <laughs> He's locked and loaded. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> with the masses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's six ways. Right? Lots of people, huh? Six ways. Good, good. Interesting pot here. Six ways. Throwing your cash out there. I fold. Wesley and Brett have a 10. They need to find another 10. Or they're in big trouble. Check. Wesley turns the net flush draw. RB has the jack of hearts to go with his eights. One thousand. Fold. Fold. Wesley needs to find a heart or a ten. There it is. Size up. There you go. Four thousand. Too much. Too much. Why are you betting so much? Bet another thousand, I give you it. I give it to you. Runner, runner hearts, huh? Yeah. Son of a. Wesley, what do you have? I can't read you for shit. So I think as RB, having any Wesley, heart in your the hand. Eight with the jack of hearts. Having any heart in your hand here is basically is the same. It doesn't really matter what heart it is. Anymore, so I have jack of hearts. <laughs> no. Because the heart that's worse than RB's Wesley, would be a seven of hearts. Wesley? He's not doing this with a seven. So you really just have a bluff catcher. Why 
betting so much. <laughs> Sorry, no angle. I just, no, I, I just can't fold. Sorry, man. Nice hand. Nice hand. Right, then. Show. Nice hand. What's the other card? Oh, nice hand. <laughs> no, he, meant, he meant it. Oh. Oh. Nice, nice. Do you have a heart? Okay. I had the eight. I'm gonna rock. Hello, you have a eight. Good, okay. good river. Thank you, Wes. Yeah. <laughs> Bad play by me. Nice set. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. These are never coming back home. Look, Barry I giving us his some interesting insights turn. into I'm playing with it, Garrett. Or perhaps the least so inter much, interesting insight, which is that he's just as hard to play against as he so seems. You don't believe. It's something I think a lot of these players figure out. <laughs> the legend of Garrett. There's no way. He's gotta you be really broke. feel it when you're in a game with him. He's got lingo be. down. Lingo if he's not, he will be. That's what got there, I'm sure. Or doggone sure, excuse me for the language. Mm -hmm. Gonna go to church. Gonna Thank you so control. much for joining us, Barry, and great playing on the show. <laughs> Have a great Fire. night. I got so many messages. Barry, Everyone shout out to Barry. Call 600. We're, we're, you know, Barry the man. A lot of people are watching with their kids. I'm like, you're teaching your kids how to play <laughs> poker? <laughs> Three players. Bruh, you... You are a true DJ. If you are teaching your, yeah, my nine-year-old girl watches this with me. I'm like, check, check. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. However, <laughs> however, comma. this could be a bad spot for Wesley. <laughs> Sir, this could be a bad yeah. spot for Go Wesley. Go to GA in the morning. <laughs> I would give you a ride and be your sponsor. There you go. I it out. Because I don't see Wesley getting away from top pair here when this goes raised. Yeah. 1750. There's no real draw here. It's a rainbow board. 3 4 8. Wesley has jack 8. We saw him fold a better hand than this in a very similar spot about a couple hours ago. He folded nines, which was an overpair to the board, when he got three bet. Is that the Sean guy I keep hearing about? Yeah. Sweetheart. 1750, right? Yes. He's going to make this call. This is very dangerous water for Wesley. Because this pot could balloon very fast. That's a great card for Salim's hand. Almost impossible for Wesley to have a three here. Almost impossible. Not impossible. I mean, unlikely. Very unlikely. And so Salim is thinking, how much can I bet so that I can get to a river and I can extract more money out of him? He wants. Wesley to continue, so you don't want to size up too much. Probably gonna 1500 ballpark, 2, a little more 2300. And now Wesley might be coming to the realization that if he's behind here, he's way behind, and he has no hope. Nice Good job, pull. Wesley. Nice Good job. Pull? Yeah. You have flaws? Overpair. <laughs> you said overpay. Overpair, overpair. I know. I think you overpay your overpair. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Stop with this guy, does it? That gives you information. Gives you the info. <laughs> you, you, you know what? You play it again. Just kidding. <laughs> And give him the video tutorial. I, 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 I think it's over Make him buy the membership. Hey, for the... <laughs> this guy. I love it. You overplayed your overpair. What'd you say, Zio? Possible. What'd you say, Zio? <laughs> what you say, Zio? Yeah. Huh? You said, you said uh, overplay? Thank you, I Was that like a pair of three there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what he folds. <laughs> I was planning to put it all in the river. I mean, sheesh. That may have been an overplay. I don't know. That's yeah. pretty good. I have a pop pair. Good what if I have a three or like yeah, three, four or something like Three players. Good fold. Zero cards. Should bet a little bit smaller. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it wasn't that it wasn't that big of an overpair, man. Like I need some protection. Okay then, check around. Three is back. Check. 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 All the way around then. Check. 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 Seventy-five. Too much. Too much? Over a bit. Over a bit. You underplayed it straight. Hundred travel. We have about twenty minutes left tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I a lot. Sometimes I just bet a lot, like. So, yeah, so people I'm who call me is bigger than me, can beat I am me. I'm still learning, that is Yeah, and uh, the, the smaller just don't call me, so lost the value and yeah, get beat. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. You've been unlucky today, you've had a really big hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the second best. Yeah, second best. Mm. And, yeah, and, yeah, and really, in really, in really, in really strong, big hands. Man. She is. This is the hand that almost got away. Mm. <laughs> Is it on me? Yes, there's shadow. <laughs> I don't know that look. I know that look. Yeah. Nick with queens. Yeah. I said we have something. Whoa, 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 that's a lot. Wow. Fucking whoa. 19 people, yeah. right? What are we gonna do? I hope I have something. Forget about it. 800. I don't have anything. <laughs> Isolate. <laughs> yep, you're on it. Anyone have called if I made it six? Yes, I would have called. Are you serious? I messed up. You overplay your overpair. I overbet my <laughs> overpair. <laughs> you overbet your overpair. I did. Thank you, Let me get I think we're all going to have it figured out by the end. Like, uh, I think we're going to walk away Chris. pretty talented. Queen. Queen. God, it's a genius, this guy. <laughs> Battle one time for fun. It could be one of the most tilting things when you're playing poker. Last you've been playing all night. Five people behind you finally get a top six, three hand, six, 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 and then everyone falls. Nine good. came with two clubs, and Barry hit a flush in the turn. Man. Oh, absolutely. So you have a uh, queen? Yeah. Hundred straddle once again. So Lakers I Nation. Head up with Barry. Good night. Barry little head up, head up. Did I ain't doing, doing nothing else. else. Len, let's go Lakers this year. Mm. This is... The last chance, I want to say, Seven for a while. I don't know. How the Ebonics just? I don't even know if they have a chance realistically. What's Ebonics? When you're speaking to me. Wait, wait, time out. Did me? <laughs> just the whole. No, what just was in general? What was it though? Put in the eight bones? <laughs> no, not you. Oh, what I say? Oh, right. I don't remember what the other one. Was. It's, it's almost like. You want to know what's funny is I'm never I one was, time, and I would never be shaking you. Know, I'm honest. About, yeah. I never one time thinking of, of that yeah. when I say anything. Oh. Never. But, so I don't even know which one you're me. It's That's just funny. Mean. Like it, it, everyone's always. Not me. For sure, my brother. No, 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 not me, not me, not me. I don't even talk no, like no. that. <laughs> nah, I don't even look at him. <laughs> what you say, man? No, I never, never do that. They I say never it, say faux show, but I text say it, it all the time. I do say because we watch the same show. She. she. I finished that, by the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. So good, man. How'd you feel about I the did, ending? I, well, so, I mean, it that? made sense. <clears throat> you know, I didn't I love, uh, I just didn't like the, the Omar thing, man. Oh, but that's pretty good, though, right? Yeah. I, I didn't like the way Omar went problem. out. <laughs> Which shows that? I didn't like the way, um, uh, The Wire. The Wire. Oh, Wire, yeah. yeah. yeah I didn't like the way Omar went out. Like, yeah. it was just too okay. anticlimactic for me. Yeah. 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 Omar had to go out that way, but no spoilers. Yeah. If anyone hasn't watched oh, The Wire, yeah. watch that show. You guys ruined it. Yeah, they're, well, they all, you know. They're spoiling it. That's how many, live by the sword, you die by the sword. How many seasons is it? Five or six. We're talking about one of the greatest characters ever to be on oh, any one, show. Huh? Omar. Okay. It's, it's as good as Game of Thrones. Okay. It's he, like they're in prison. He died right? of an OD so on heroin. Yeah, in real life, I heard that. That's pretty sad for sure. Literally one of the most intriguing characters you'll ever find on any show. And it just yeah, Barry, no bullshit. keeps never, getting never better with him. Anytime I'm fucking with you. Omar's coming. <laughs> we passed that. I know, but yeah. I just wanted to circle back since you said it. Absolutely. Putting like 
<laughs> yeah. Kid K420 says, of course he went out that way. Yeah. It's kind of like it just had to be like a really frustrating Scorsese movie, but it had to be that way. Kelly asks, Ivy coming back? Yeah, not in the immediate future, but he's Dangerous coming back. Combo, right? And when he does come back, sorry, sure. the best year, so. he's going to be much more engaged in the game. I promise you that. Because we can call out truths here. Come hangry teenagers, man. Oh, and no. So Ivy came and played on our show. Unfortunately, oh, mm. he had cool. bigger things he was worrying about that day. He was sweating bigger bullets. Than what was on the show, and it showed, and people figured that out. Muted all day. Yeah. So we're gonna Hilarious. wait until. Leave it on. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's those like things it. are over. <laughs> He'll be back on the show when he gives us full attention. It'll be Every, a different uh, ballgame. Printing money over there, you know. The Silent guy. assassin. Yes, he is. Good never, never have to worry about a hot mic with him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why even give him a mic? Yeah. <laughs> Just give it. To someone else. I think he doesn't have a cell phone. He just texts. He doesn't have. He doesn't use any of his minutes. <laughs> yeah, the call feature doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> he only texts. Zerkulo asked the better question: Is Taha coming back? What? Who cares about Ivy? Let's get Taha back. Yeah. Wesley's not in? Nope. Wesley, come on. Let's double team Nick. Mm. Me and you, maybe. Yeah. I'll tell you to watch maybe that. we'll have it. I'm not into that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds erotic. You're giving me the lobs, man, and I'm not even taking the bait. Yeah. <laughs> this whole thing's been a setup. Mm. Oh boy. I was getting a little distracted by chat and did not realize that we have a huge cooler going on right now. Nick has the nut straight. RB has a 10. How can he go anywhere? RB thinks there's a lot of flush draws, etc. in Nick's range. Well, that's an unfortunate card for Nick because... He no longer has the nuts, obviously. There's full houses out there. But you know you're getting value from any 10. 4,000. So he bets 4,000. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it, it seems like we've seen RB in this situation several times tonight. Did you just see there? He has a good a hand. River full house? We have pocket jacks? And then it gets to the river. Not raising jacks on a turn. You have a full house? I have the 10. I have queen 10. Wow. I don't know, why would you raise jacks on the turn? I mean, you either we're either chopping or... I mean, you, you have king 10? No, king 10, you're not raising, three betting, three flop. He did, though. No way. You, did you river a fucking boat on me? Knowing you, probably did. <laughs> Can you see? You show your hand? You know I can't fold anything. You wouldn't try to bluff against me. 
We're calling machine. I'm gonna do a Nick Nick uh, move right now. Nick speech. Well, that means he's probably gonna fold. You, you're trying to speech. act like you're too nervous. I don't know if it's an act you're putting on or you're actually nervous. It's an act. <laughs> he wants you to call. Four thousand. Four thousand total. So sick. I'm calling to chop. You're three better preflight. You're not doing that with King Ten. He is doing that with King Ten RB. And you, you, Jax. Why would you raise the turn, Jax? Consider a chop or you, you missed your flush. No, you're not doing that against me. You're never doing that against me. You know I have the ten. Think long, think wrong. This is not going well for RB. He's getting closer and closer to the I wrong don't, decision. I don't fold this against anyone. Just you. Nice hand. Wow, he does fold. Nice fold, RB. If it's a bluff to show now, show is almost over. No. No? Wow. Great wow, fold. Fold of the night. The river saving. In fact. Fold of the night, RB. Fucking ugly river. Quads. Great play. <laughs> is that a quad? He tends to do it, huh? Sick. Yeah, you could have a oh, I'm so sorry. No, no That's worry, shocking guys. to me nice that hand. Nick nice doesn't get value there. Wow. Nice Thank fold. you. Nice hand. Just that river, though. Nice oh, wow. No blood. No blood. No bluff. Too hard to bluff there. Hmm. If it's me, you call, right? Yeah, Wesley says, if it's me, you call, right? You get paid. I know, yeah. shit. Maybe I should have bet 3,000. Wesley's like starting to realize <laughs> yes, you do. the yes. different images that players <laughs> have at the more. table. No, he knows like, Wait, you'd call me too? He knows I'm a calling what machine. What if I bet more? Then you call? He knows I'm a calling machine. He bets against me. <laughs> Shady. Just bet uh, over pull. <laughs> I overfold. I swear, that could be like some good skit where you just have Wesley throwing in the zinger to somebody after a hand, but like a <laughs> subtle... The like, funny thing is he... he, he it's so great. It's purpose. so nuanced. It's, yeah, I don't is, know now is. anymore because he's so good at it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're doing here anymore. Meanwhile, Zio and Wesley are chasing a gutter, when you get a and second. Brett has a set. A set for Brett. 1,300? Can I get three racks? Because when the stream's over, i got to bounce pretty fast. You should catch me out first. If Wesley Thank calls you. here, then Zio's bad getting ending, a ending. decent pot odds, but... Without Wesley, ah, zero folds. Ending was bad so far. I can't believe you folded. I made some jack oh, eights. I lost to him. Nice, nice fold. Thank you, thank you. Sick. Sick fold. God, why couldn't it have been a deuce of hearts? No AIDS. No river, you know? Something as stupid. I mean, yeah, something I'm stupid. I have to call. I can't yeah, yeah, fold. you call. <clears throat> Nine is horrible. Did I tip you? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, mate. You always do. I know, but I forget sometimes. No, you don't. I have. Remember that one time? He gave you the whole thing or just Remember that one time? That band camp, remember? Mmm. <laughs> Thought you I didn't mm. think I said that loud enough to be heard. Oh, yeah. And you have a mic on. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> and but you have a they, microphone. That's, that's okay. They're supposed to hear it. You're not. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but love. Yeah, of course. Kahei asks, what's the final story on that Tata guy? No? Taha. <laughs> that 4,000 I donated. And I think the legend of Taha will only grow from here. I do. What time is it? Oh, would you like to know as well? It's one of those stories where I think each time it gets told, he'll have another $1,000 in ones. Eventually, a couple of months from now, someone will be telling the story of the guy who tried to cash out $20,000 in ones, blah, 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 blah. And he was working as a stripper. Girlfriend was doing this. 
But meanwhile, we have a massive cooler potentially. But it's likely to be a split pot. Both players have a five. Right now, Zio's eight is playing. But if any card over an eight comes on the river, it's going to be a split pot. I said I would. And this is the exact kind of situation that Zio has been waiting for all night. He's targeting Wesley specifically. You can see the wheels turning. He wants a little card. Oh, wow. Just one above eight. And he knows now that he's splitting with any five. The green ones are painful. What is it, the wrong that's unfortunate. This is that situation that Zia's been trying to set up all night. You know, when you're at the table and you see that guy, and the whole night you're envisioning that situation where he's going to have a second best hand and you're going to get all of his money and you're trying to manifest that situation. Zio still thinks this might be it, but. Fortunately, it's just not. I call. I didn't say anything. Thank you. Wow. I just, I just okay. called, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, did, I didn't raise. I'm, I'm not meant to raise. Okay. Yeah, I was just... Oh, I got yeah. it. Unfortunate. This was the hand to get it back. I would have had to flush. You have a flush? No. Oh, I told you. Fold the flop. I told you. Yeah, you're fine. You're right. I didn't listen. Probably last hand. I have to. Yeah, I have a five. I have to yeah. call. Yeah. But I can't, I can't raise. I have five. I have three, five three. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, your kicker doesn't play, huh? Yeah. Oh, what? The kicker doesn't play? Hold on. The kicker plays there? I didn't see the board. Wait, wait. The you kicker. Have I have five. You have five. You have I showed. Right? He showed a five. I showed five. Hold on. Wait, time. You guys are freaking out in chat. Five. I know his eight didn't play. Maybe I misspoke. Say again, buddy. I was saying it's unfortunate the nine came because his eight's no longer playing. And it's a chop pot. And it's just yeah, unfortunate. Oh, okay. oh, really? I didn't do it. He showed his hand. He tabled it. Uh, what was it? I, 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 he tabled I, 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 five dollars. Yeah, I right. say, don't worry. Yes. I, give you, I give you the pop back. Yeah, don't worry. Fine. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I got you. I, I just... I got you. I got you. Don't worry. But I showed the and what I happened there, by the way, okay, is that okay, Wes accidentally okay. flashed his cards. And Lauren thought that he had folded. Are asking me, like, safely? Or do you mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she started to ship the pot to Zio, but... I don't know if that's yours or mine. Zio did the right thing. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, because George yeah. And gave him half the pot. Zio did not have to do that. If you ran in to some shit reg on the casino floor and that started to happen and you'd be like, floor, floor, no, it's my pot. He mucked his card. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, well then, you're good, buddy. Wink, wink. Suck shit, bro, you know? I mean, he could have done that, but that's not the way we do things here. <laughs> One more hand. Let's keep playing. <laughs> you guys normally play after the stream or not really? Or All right, maybe you guys are right. Maybe I was wrong on the turn. You're right. It's been five hours. You know, I play Chill. so often, you know? Sure. But I didn't realize there's. I know, I know. Can you can't just yeah, you're right. All right, you're right, you're right. You tried doing commentary for five hours. On the flap? Zeal. Yes, he had a five. But thank you guys. Man, I would have won a big I appreciate you correcting me. Good job, buddy. No worries. You can always count. <laughs> on the pros in Chatsville <laughs> to let you know. That, that time he actually said something. Yeah, he did. <laughs> no worries. Nine. Nine hundred. Uh, pretty sure. Thanks, guys. This might be the last hand of the night, or very near it. So let's see some action here. Ace four versus ace four. It's, it's, it's your turn. Hold on. It's your turn. Wesley. Wesley, it's your turn. What do you say? Wesley, what did you say? Uh, the. Okay, right? yeah. How sick would it be to see a big all-in between Nick and Wesley right now? Thank you. No worries. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. 
Not gonna happen. Over zero again. Nice saving that hand. Oh, four out of five. Have a save. Five of club. Nice. I even said it. This is a hand you're gonna give me. I think that might be the end of our night. I saw the eight players. So I have eight. Five three. You're good. Don't worry. They're racking up. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been a really fun and interesting game. No, we played earlier today. We usually start at four. Look at those chip counts. But the real story of the night is going to be in the winnings and the V-pips. Wesley with a 61% V-pip. That's high even for him. Taha right behind with 59%. So you can hate on the guy for a lot of things, but you can't hate on him for being a nit. And look at that pre-flop raise. Nick, 25%. The most aggressive player on the table. Cumulative winnings now. I would like to, but Barry and Nick on top. Zio right behind Wesley. Yeah, we four. Down about a do little over a Bitcoin. Do Bitcoin and a half. Oh, boy. He'll be back, though. Thank you so much for joining us. Check out MaxBetTV.com. Our channel is HSPN on there. Have a great week of poker ahead. Have a great night, guys.